The internet has shown otherwise. They're being contrarians. That's the internet. Monty, everyone cares about Jenkins except for you, and I don't understand why you hate him. I don't hate him. I just don't care about him. That's worse. Indifference <laughs> is worse. You don't feel for him at all. Nah. Wow. <laughs> we stand Jenkins in this house, Monty. I mean, you stand Jenkins. There's no we in this argument. No, there's an Arkov. We stand Jenkins in this house. Arkov, do you stand Jenkins? I mean, he does make a great meat shield. Fair enough. Why, why when I put Mass Effect is now live for Twitter, it, it wants to autocorrect to Liverpool? <laughs> what? I... Because live and Liverpool, like, it's finishing ah. out what you think you're going to say, I assume. Think of that literally. Like, a pool of liver. Blah. There is liver juice. Welcome into the stream, everybody. That's one way to kick it off. Also, uh, like Tabuya, this is not just nerds in space. There's also a jock in space. Come on. Deep Pixie, thank you for the tier one sub. Jenkins lives on in our hearts. Thank you for the salute. I'm glad you Aren't guys... Aren't you kind of a guy. nerdy jock, though? Me? No. Does that make you a knock like an arrow? No. Also, your power has no power here. Which power is that? <laughs> the power to push buttons. It will not yeah. work here. I will not allow it. This is not a Wednesday. I am not affected by your nonsense. <laughs> Make me L-O-L-Z 101. Thank you so much for the tier one sub. Oh, it's my second sub, baby. What's it called, Monty? James! There we go. You'll have to get them a giant peach. Can you prove who is a jock, Bosco? Hey, Arkolv. Mm hmm I have a question for you. I may or may not have an answer. Okay. Uh, when a, a hockey puck is hit into an opposing person's goal three times by the same player, what's it called? There's a specific term for that? There is. Monty, I know do you know? Is. I know. It's You're a hat Canadian. Trick. Yeah, you, it's a hat trick. It's a hat trick. There you go. I'm proud. But she's Canadian, so she, by biology, has to know that. No, I don't. I actually no, you do. really it's, don't you're, like you, you are born, and that's just in you. Sure. It is. This feels very one-sided. <laughs> it is. I know. Canada is so obnoxious about hockey. It, it I mean, it's, it's, it's whatever. I just, I'm not super into hockey. I had to play hockey when I was four, and I fucking hated it. I believe that completely. It is not your kind of a sport. Because I had to, I would get blisters on my legs from the skates, and then my my pads were way too big for me, so they'd slide around. And so, like, what was supposed to be protecting my elbows would go all the way up my arm, and then, like, just rub on my arm, and it was terrible. I, I did not like it. There you go. Hey, Monty. Mm-hmm. Uh, how do you feel about the gym? The guy? Huh? Exactly. I rest my case the on the gym. Would you say the okay. gym? Yeah, the gym. The gym. Oh, what the f you just said gym weird. <laughs> I did. Well, I said gym, and then I said gym. Yeah, and I th I thought you were like something was wrong with you, which is probably true. But like. Oh yeah, that's true. But you don't sense. have nearly enough degrees to help me. In fact, both voice actors for Shepard are from Canada. Mm -hmm. It's true. I always forget that just Jen Hill's back in Canada, by the way. I believe. I presume they have talented alien visas then. Uh, yes. That's the, I loved explaining that to Octopimp, by the way, where I was telling him about like, because we were talking after the LA trip and it was just like, he's like, oh, you should come back again. I'm like, yeah, we were on discussions of like, you know, Canadian actors and stuff like that. And I mentioned, I'm like, do you know what it's called when someone actually, like, does work in the U.S. as an actor? What type of visa they have to get? And, and Octo it's an was O-1 like, visa. Yeah, and Octo's like, no. And I'm like, it's called a talented alien visa. It's, like, the most, like, Oh, we, I've always heard it called an O-1, but I think that is the, uh, the technical term for it. It is a talented alien visa, yeah. 
Yeah, well, because everybody's considered an alien because they're from other places, so that's why they use the term alien. I think they should probably update that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I like it. I think it's silly sounding. Uh, first of all, let me, let me read through some bits and subs here. Um, we have Make Me... L oh, God, there's so many. Uh, we have Shine Greymon. Thank you so much for the tier one sub for 29 months. Hi, Monty. How's your day been? Really good. I play Pokemon basically all day and also clean my house a bit. Darkstar Dara, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 13 months. So it turns out I forgot to enable stream notifications, but the YouTube brought me here. Have fun, y'all, and rep rest in peace, Jenkins. See? See? Papusa Monkey, thank you so much for 100 bits. Canon talks a lot of shit for a country that hasn't won a Stanley Cup in decades. Also, hockey is my, my second favorite sport after football. I don't care about the Stanley Cup. The only thing that I care about with the Stanley Cup is that the year that the Canucks lost the Stanley Cup in... in uh, 1994 was the day I was born. So the basically BC was rioting when I was born, and I like to think it wasn't because of the hockey game, but it was because I was born and I ushered in I violence. Make me lol. Thank, thank you for gifting five tier one subs to the kit to the community and Papusa Monkey. Thank you for 100 bits. Nah, this train is for Jenkins. All right, fine, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Did I ever tell you about the doc, the thing with when I was born? I think I told you guys. I don't know if I told our call. You told me. I feel me. like you did tell me because I found it very yeah. amusing. I'll tell chat, but like, so the day I was born, um, I was born in a hospital that was like not in the same town where my parents lived at the time because they lived in a very small town. So I had to drive to a neighboring city where I was born. Um, and basically that night when my mom was in the hospital it was the stanley cup finals between the canucks and somebody i don't know who the fuck it was i don't know the, the mallards of justice or some shit i don't know hockey and so the doctor who was working there went up to my mom and was just like hey, you're not gonna go into labor tonight i'm gonna leave early and so he literally just fucked off and sure enough my mom went into labor <laughs> and uh and there was a yeah the, the doctor just left he was like no nah, you're not you're not gonna go into labor i'm gonna go home so i can catch the hockey game i shit you not this doctor fucking left the hospital to go watch the hockey game and that so that man is my hero he's not my hero he fucking he, he abandoned me so um yeah my mom was not thrilled but there was another there was a lady doctor who came and had just finished delivering a baby and then helped my mom deliver me and I like to imagine, like, my dis disliking of hockey was because of that. Like, internally, like, it just, like, by destiny made me not like it so much. Yep. There you go. That's how hockey almost, I don't know, it messed up my being born, I guess. See, there was another doctor there, though, so they probably just covered the shift. That's basically what happened. But she had just delivered a baby. I apparently asked my mom, like, where's the other doctor? And she goes, he went home to watch a hockey game. And she went, of course. And then just, like, went in and helped. But maybe his shift was over. It was not. He left early. Well, he's allowed to do that. No, he's not. He's totally allowed to do that. It's, hot. it's the Canucks in the... Yes, he is. By Vancouver law, yes, he is. Monty would have been a, a jock if clause. it hasn't been for this doctor. Yeah, right. No. I'm not, a, I'm not a big sports person. I like basketball and I like baseball. Um, and I fucking I, love badminton. I love badminton and swimming. Those are probably my favorite. That blows my mind. What? That you like badminton. I love badminton. Yeah. What, you what is badminton? It's badminton. Oh fuck! That's right. Americans, Americans call it badminton, and you are the only ones who call it that. Everywhere else in the world, it's I don't called even badminton. Know what that is. It's like tennis with low stakes. <laughs> Um, wow. <laughs> uh, basically, it's you have a. Arkoff, have you ever hit a shuttlecock before? I don't know what that is. Go. I'm going to go with the safe. Would you like no. to find out? I have a shuttlecock that you can touch. Arkoff, don't don't fall for this. Basically, <laughs> if you want to come visit, have... I can let you hold my shuttlecock. If you have a net between the course and then you have a shuttlecock, which is basically an airborne like tennis ball, and you just whap it back and forth, and if it touches on your side, you lose. It's very simple. I would call it an airborne tennis. It looks almost because it's got like the little plastic head, and then it's got almost like all the way around. It's just like a netting that allows it to fly through the air. Yeah. It looks That's like fine. a birdie. It does. Yeah, I guess. I, uh, 
I like uh, I like badminton and I, I like swimming. Those are probably my two favorite like. Oh yes, yeah, badminton. Bad. That's how I hate to break it to you, Bosco. That's literally how everywhere else in the world it's said, except for America. Next, you're gonna tell me, oh yeah, they don't call it soccer everywhere else. Yeah. Is they, it this no. thing? Careful what you post. I'm yes, scared. that is it. That is it. I'm so scared because. Let me see. Oh, yeah. it says badminton on the image itself. Yes. I know what that thing is. We called them birdies. Oh, yeah, they're called birdies in America. And gym teachers just called it tennis. I mean, it's That's... basically tennis. It's just a different kind of tennis. It's like less shitty tennis. What do you mean less shitty? Uh, can I have a mod ban that bot, please? Uh, I'm not a mod or I would. Uh, I'm not either or I would. I will mod both of you. Yeah, mod us both and I'll take care of it. Where are your mods, Monty? Uh, asleep, apparently, which is fine. Well, we got you. I modded you, our call. And then, is it Edward? Edward the Van Hammer. Uh, Edward. Is it Edward? Oh, so the whole thing? Yeah, but it's my whole name. Edward Bosco. There you go. You Boom. Woohoo! All right, we will keep an eye on the ch You will yeah, probably Now we not... got we got the sit-down gun, our call. Yeah. Believe me, that I don't get my mods don't have to do a whole lot. The good news is my chat is very well behaved. A geth got into the stream. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> nice. I can't believe Bracky was late. Oh no, Bracky can't ban Bosco now. But I it's, can. I, 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 I revenge can, will be mine when he shows up. I'm gonna absolutely ban him. I can un I can unmod you, Bosco, so you can be banished once more. No, I just want to do it once so that Bracky and I are even. Also, yes, Lily, I play uh, a Femme Alucard briefly in that. I'm pretty sure moderators can ban each other, and when they do, it removes the other one's mod status. It does. You have to remod them after they get banned. Please don't make work for me. <laughs> It is incredibly to difficult to all tab out of this game because it freezes everything. So please don't. <laughs> please. You also just got 200 bits from uh, not Dante 42. Yes, Monty. Hope you are doing better than me. The flu is no fun. I saw a movie recently. Actually, I saw a movie on Saturday with Shay. Um, we're gonna. Sorry, this is kind of like we're not playing the game, but I want to talk about. Actually, no, we can talk about it over in the Mako. <laughs> There we go. We'll save it for that. The Mako's not coming for a bit. Oh, well, then we, we can maybe, maybe talk about it now. So, uh, so on Saturday, me and Shay hung out. Uh, it, was a, it was a lovely time. We went uh, to the mall. But I really... Okay, so people may judge me for this. It's fine. I really like James Cameron's Avatar. I don't think it's the greatest film of all time, but I really it's enjoy it. It's just very it. pretty to look at. It's just, I love the ecology of it and like the, the certain design elements of it was really good. And like- How could you not like space Pocahontas? Well, I mean, yeah, there's actually a lot more. That's the thing that annoys me is there's actually like more plot there, but you have to look for it. And that's the really annoying thing with it. It's like on, on the surface, it's like, oh, it's fucking Pocahontas, but like, actually what's going on is like oh there's so much lore but it's not told well fuck it's very frustrating yep. but um obviously the second movie came out and i was just like shit i really want to see the second movie but i'm like it's three hours long it's a mm -hmm. really long film and so uh i was like hey shay like after dungeon of mad mage i'm like hey shay i'm like we wanted to hang out and it was like, oh, I need to go here and buy soap, and Shay needed to pick up some stuff. And I'm like, hey, can we, like, can we go see Avatar 2? I really want to see it. And Shay was like, and my friends know, if I want to go to the movie theater, it's a big deal. Because I don't like movie theaters at all. I actually, like, openly avoid movie theaters, unless it's, like, something that's really, like, I really want to see. So... I went and saw it, and I had a good time. It was a visual marvel. Also, interestingly enough, the first movie to ever feature underwater mo capture. Imagine it was fun to record. There's there were pictures well, of. Well, now like, I have a new bucket list. Right? There's a picture. I have a new that, thing on the bucket list. I want to do underwater mocap. 
there's a picture of the, what they had to do too is they had to cover the top of the water with like balls like like floating balls because the light shimmering through the water surface actually would affect the recording of the mocapping so like the the actors had to go underwater and it was dark because they needed to avoid the water's reflections to record the mocapping. Oh, they use those black rubber balls like they use in dams and water reservoirs. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. It's really cool. So, like, that's... I'm that's... surprised they didn't just put a sheet over the top, but I guess they had to let some light through. Well, they also have to get air through, too. So, like, the, that the people too. can surface. Well, I assume that they would, like, have air down there and then, like, take it out, do their thing, put, like, they'd have oxygen down there. Mm -hmm. Also, I just want to say, too, James Cameron is not known for his writing, like, a lot of people are like, oh, the plot sucks. I'm like, when has James Cameron wrote, a, like, a complicated story? Like, ever. Yeah, but maybe he should, I don't know, hire a fucking writer to bring his... Maybe he's the concept guy. Fair enough. Just have to remember that Whatever there's happened no to delegation, way two people like George, can fit on a Even George door. Lucas was like, yeah, I'm not going to be allowed to make these anymore. And they hired other people. But, yeah, no. Anyway. Let's get... Also, you got space, a bit drop during that... Oh, Stall Coyote dropped 100 bits. Previously on Mass Effect, Asari shows affection. Monty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> yep. So the Asari, if I recall, they're a female-only species, right? Or like... They so are monogendered. They are monogendered, correct. Oh, interesting. Okay. I believe, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, Arkov, can't the Asari actually morph their gender to fit whoever they're with? That I don't know. Are there biology rather? Well, I know biologically they can connect with generally Anybody. any species and take yeah. DNA information from them. But the result is always more sorry. So, Correct. They're honestly a bit like Pokemon in that regard, Monty. Oh, okay. Hello, Presley. If anyone has to take over for Captain Anderson, I'm glad it's you. I'm not sure about having non humans on our ship, though. Don't be racist! They're on We're our all side! On the same team here, Presley. With all due respect, ma'am, that's what they said about Nihilus. Look how that turned out. Doubt my decisions? You doubt my decisions? Speak freely, Presley. I want to know if you have a problem with non-humans. It's not that, Commander. Humanity has always handled its own problems. Saren attacked one of our colonies. We should be the ones to stop him. We don't need their help. This is bigger than humanity. Saren's a threat to every species in the galaxy, and I'll welcome anyone who wants to help me bring him down. I guess so. Maybe I'm just stuck in the old ways of thinking. Yeah. But don't worry, Commander. This won't be a problem. And yeah. <laughs> See, Monty, uh, there's nuance to their bias. How did you they don't hate the races. The they just want to do it themselves. I signed up with the Alliance as a navigator right out of school, following in my grandfather's footsteps, I guess. My first posting was on the Agincourt. We were one of the first reinforcements to arrive at Elysium after the Blitz hit. <laughs> Those raiders were no match for an Alliance frigate. Of course, the only reason the colony was still standing was because of you, Commander. I can't believe you held out as long as you did. How'd you end up on the Normandy? I got my officer's commission after Elysium. Must have made an impression on the right people. Captain asked for me when he was picking his crew. Carry on, Presley. Yes, ma'am. Oh, I got a Paragon. You did. Your dialogue options will change how you uh, are seen and how you act. Correct. I'm trying to be a, a good space cadet. Sup, lads? Oh, you're more oh than a cadet. yo, he saluted me. That guy gets up. They promotion. both saluted you. What is this? FTL Comlink for the Lost Comlink. Dude, I love that game, FTL. Oh, I've never right. played it. You have codex entries on new races now. Oh, do yeah. I? Yep, because yeah. you haven't checked in in a while. More Bosco, is there a difference between Presley and Ashley? Uh, yes. It's Very much so. Category. I don't want to ruin what, what Ashley's thing is. Monty's probably not going to explore it, so when we get to the end of the game, I can give you insight onto what's her deal. Do I wanna it's up to Monty one? if she wants to find out, though. The primary category, Monty. Oh, primary. That's the one that has yeah. the vocalized And then you races. just go down to the Alien Raid. Yep. Oh, shit. Species to discover the oh, Citadel. tell me a story, smooth voice man. When the Solarians man. arrived, it was the Asari who proposed the establishment of the Citadel Council to maintain peace throughout the galaxy. Since then, the Asari have served as the mediators and centrists of the Council. An all-female race, the hmm. Asari reproduce through a form of parthenogenesis, they can attune their nervous system to that of another individual of any gender and of any species to reproduce. Oh, shit. 
This capability has led to the unseemly and inaccurate rumors about Asari promiscuity. Asari can live for over a thousand years, passing through three stages of life. In the maiden stage, they wander restlessly, seeking new knowledge and experience. When the matron stage begins, they meld with interesting partners to produce their offspring. This ends when they reach the matriarch stage, where they assume the roles of leaders and counselors. Parthenogenesis, for those that don't know, is reproduction from an ovum without fertilization, typical of invertebrates and plants. Huh. Interesting. And you got the Salarians. That ex that dude that explains touch face lady. She's clearly. It does explain. In, See now you understand why they're so touchy feely. She's in the matrix stage. That doesn't give her permission to touch. That's still it bad. But it explains why she does it. It's a just, cultural difference thing. Just to get, they're all whip tail lizards. <laughs> Wait, what? No, they do not have tails. Yeah. yeah. The Let's second go. species to join the citadel. The Salarians are warm-blooded amphibians with a hyperactive Ooh. metabolism. Salarians think fast, talk fast, and move fast. To Salarians, other species seem sluggish and dull-witted. Unfortunately, their metabolic speed leaves them with a relatively Ooh. short lifespan. Salarians over the age of 40 are a rarity. Wow. The Salarians were responsible for advancing the development of the primitive Krogan species to use as soldiers during the Rachni Wars. They were also behind the creation of the genophage bioweapon the Turians used to quell the Krogan Rebellion several centuries later. Salarians are known for their observational capability and non-linear thinking. This manifests as an aptitude for research and espionage. They are constantly experimenting and inventing, and it is generally accepted that they always know more than they are letting on. That's the first time I think genophage has been said in this game. I was gonna say. The first name drop. I yeah. was gonna say. Um, I like that they look kind of like your classic gray alien. You know. Kind of, yeah. The fact they're always doing experiments and whatnot. Yep. Also, yeah, I no, really like the Solarians. Me too. I like the Solarians too. Also, um, so when uh, the Drifter Time and Space, thank you so much for the five tier one subs of the community. Thank you so much. Also, handsome Shadow, thank you for the tier one subs. Just short, years. just no, short no, to no, say hi because I gotta go to bed. <laughs> In the early 2160s, oh. the no! Alliance began aggressive colonization of worlds in the Skillian Verge. I hate the Batarians. Much to the dismay of the Batarians, who had been oh. developing the region for several decades. I hate decades. them. In 2171, the Batarians petitioned the Council to declare the Verge a zone of Batarian interest. The Council refused, however, declaring unsettled worlds in the region open to human colonization. In protest, the Batarians closed their Citadel Embassy and severed official diplomatic relations with the Council, effectively becoming a rogue state. They mm -hmm. instigated a proxy war in the Verge by funneling money and weapons to criminal organizations, urging them to strike at human colonies. Hostilities peaked with the Skillian Blitz of 2176, an attack on the human capital of Elysium by Batarian-funded pirates and slavers. In 2178, the Alliance retaliated with a crushing assault on the moon of Torfin, long used as a staging base by Batarian-backed criminals. In the aftermath, the Batarians retreated into their own systems and are now rarely seen in Citadel space. So basically, they wanted the planets that we are currently calling, like we're currently turning into colonies, yes. and then they didn't get it, and then it basically were like, all right, now fuck you, we're gonna Fine, sell fuck you, and we were like, no, were fuck already you, developing and the fuck region. you. They were already developing the region. Then humans came into the picture, and the council gave the humans permission to develop in that same region. Mm. And they were like, no, this is our spot. And so we fought, and we won. Interesting. When Probably the Asari it's... discovered the Citadel, they also discovered the Keepers, a it's docile, multi-limbed insect race that seemingly Monty! exists only to maintain and repair the great Prothean station. Early attempts to communicate with or study the Keepers were failures, and it is now illegal to interfere with or impede Keeper activity. Because they are completely non-threatening, Keepers have become virtually invisible to everyone else. Similarly, they seem indifferent to other species, except for their tendency to help new arrivals integrate themselves into the Citadel. 
No matter how many keepers die due to old age, violence, or accident, they maintain a constant number. No one has discovered the source of new keepers, but some hypothesize they are genetic constructs, biological androids created somewhere deep in the inaccessible core of the Citadel itself. I love Limited what... crab legs, Monty. Oh my god, we could, just, we could just keep eating them. I was gonna say, I love the idea of like, no matter how many keepers die due to old age violence or accident, the moment he said accident, I got it in my head, I got an image of one of these things walking and slipping on a banana peel and then it just cutting away. <laughs> Monty, what? <laughs> just like, it's an accident. What? Clearly, slapstick comedy is the way these things go. <laughs> no one can, not even the keepers can survive slapstick comedy. Crumbins! Time Crumbins. to hear about my people. In a hostile and vicious environment. Until the invention of gunpowder weapons, eaten by predators was still the number one cause of Krogan fatalities. Afterwards, it was death by gunshot. <laughs> when the Salarians discovered them, the Krogan were a brutal, primitive species, struggling to survive a self-inflicted nuclear winter. The Salarians culturally uplifted them, teaching them to use and build modern technology so they could serve as soldiers in the Rachni War. Liberated from the harsh conditions of their homeworld, the quick-breeding Krogan experienced an unprecedented population explosion. They began to colonize nearby worlds. Even though these worlds were already inhabited, the Krogan rebellions lasted nearly a century, only ending when the Turians unleashed the Genophage, a Salarian-developed bioweapon that crushed all Krogan resistance. The Genophage makes only one in a thousand pregnancies Jesus. viable. And today, the Krogan are a slowly dying breed. Understandably, the Krogan harbor a grudge against all other species, especially the Turians. There's a reason genophage is close to genocide. Yeah. Hey, yeah, they basically were like, you guys are going to wipe out the galaxy. So they essentially murdered them all and made sure they couldn't expand. And they made it so meticulous that they're like, we're not going to kill you outright. We're just going to let you slowly die off. Yeah, that's a big old war crime right there. Yeah, but they're the ones that make the laws, so uh, it's not a crime that, in their yeah, eyes. Yeah, it's not a war crime when you make the laws, exactly. All right, Quarians. Driven from their home system by the Geth nearly three centuries ago, most Quarians now live aboard the Migrant Fleet, a flotilla of 50,000 vessels ranging Ooh. in size from passenger shuttles to mobile space stations. Home to 17 million Quarians, the flotilla understandably has scarce resources. Because of this, each Quarian must go on a rite of passage known as the Pilgrimage when they come of age. They leave the fleet and only return once they have found something of value they can bring back to their people. Other species tend to look down on the Quarians for creating the Geth and for the negative impact their fleet has when it enters a system. This has led to many myths and rumors about the Quarians, including the belief that underneath their clothes and breathing masks, they are actually cybernetic creatures a combination of organic and synthetic parts. Hmm. Interesting. Yep. The Quarians really get flushed out in other games, but you get a nice little taste of them in this one. Yep. Also, we had some bit drops. Lovely Lorelei, thank you for the 150 bit. Krogan or humans, who are the true space orcs? I would argue Krogan. Krogan are just straight up like we fight everything. We we are tribal, we are I... primitive. They're I very love, orky. I love the the writing exercise of, of humans as as space orcs. My uh, my favorite will always be just like, how is it that you human beings were man have managed to create colonies in sub zero temperatures? Well, we sent some people to go explore the region, and then when they didn't come back, uh, we sent more people out, and eventually we uh, figured it out. Wait, you sent people out? They died, and your solution was to send out more people? Yes. What is wrong with you? <laughs> my, other, my other favorite story is we have a okay everybody we have a we have a human on the ship watch out they'll pack bond with anything <laughs> and apparently yep. like it was a story about this human joining the vessel and they were an engineer and they had a Roomba that they loved <laughs> and they just kept like and like the, the, they were sad like the human was sad and they're like we must pack bond with this human or they'll die <laughs> they're sad <laughs> it was really funny all right Back at it again at Krispy Kreme. Also, yeah, people to talk to the hundred bits. I don't trust humans. Don't be racist. Points to Shepherd Monty eating a keeper with butter. Listen, 
can't point at anything if you can't catch me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not racism if you don't see me eat them. <laughs> exactly. It's... No. I don't want to talk no! to him. No! No! I'm oh not going to talk to oh. him. Huh. I believe everyone else is down on the lowest level down the elevator. Correct. I think Ashley's over by the Mako. Jeez, no, over by the, by the Mako. Sailor. Ashley's by the the. Hey, uh, doctor! I like the doctor. The weapons guy. Yes, hey, I like. Is that something you? I love. Need? I love chocolates. Chocolates. How did you end Chocos. up serving on an alliance? Chunkus. I enlisted right out. I wanted you to try. But humanity needs the alliance if we want. I should to go. Keep. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye. I should go. How's it going? Oh, yes, indistinct conversation that we can't hear. Riveting! All right, let's go. They probably were like, you're going to see these guys all the time. We can't get that much dialogue in this game. Also, I am determined if they actually do make another Mass Effect, I demand to be in it. They are making one. Sure. No, they're making another Dragon Age. Oh, God, Gears, why are you at the Mako? Ashley. Hey! Hey, it's Rex! Nice so Rex, Garrus, and Ashley all in the same area. What can I do for you? What's your story, Rex? There's no story. Go ask the Quarian if you want stories. Come on. You Don't be an ass. Centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. That was fun. Yeah. yeah, they tried the same with us, but we fought them off. It's not oh. the same. It seems pretty much the same to me. So um. your people were infected with a genetic mutation? An infection that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth? And I suppose it's destroying your entire species? I see your point. I suppose it isn't all the same. I don't expect you to understand, but don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan. I won't. Sorry, Rex. I wasn't trying to get you upset. Your ignorance doesn't upset Okay, me. man, I'm sorry! As for the Krogan, I gave up on them long ago. The genophage infected us, but it's not what's killing us. Are your people really dying? We're sure not getting any stronger. We're too spread out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. Lots of species have left their homes and prospered. But they go to colonize new worlds. We're not settlers. We're warriors. We want to fight. Mm -hmm. So we leave. Hire ourselves out. And most of us go back hmm. they remind me of the uh again i don't watch a lot of star trek but um there's the Klingons. Klingons. Klingons, yeah they're yeah. very cleon -y. yeah what can you tell me about the genophage i don't think they have the same honor system though if i'm not mistaken ask the salarians if you want details they made it all i know it makes breeding nearly impossible thousands die in stillbirth most never get that far. Wow, so it affects, it affects Every the... Every Krogan is infected. Every one. And no one's rushing to find a cure. Why don't the Krogan try to find a cure? When was the last time you saw a Krogan scientist? That's fair. You ask a Krogan. Would he rather find a cure for the genophage or fight for credits? He'll choose fight every time. It's just who we are, Shepard. I can't change that. Nobody can. So long, Rex. Sorry, man. Shepard. Can you talk to also, Rex again? Uh, yep. Shepard. Oh, he doesn't have anything. Never mind. Rex. <laughs> Shepard. Wait, Rex. Again. there it is. Again? That's the first one. Yeah. Shepard. Okay, nothing. You can Rex. Go. <laughs> that arc of I love you. <laughs> I, I was like, I know what this is, and it's great. <laughs> Oh. Did you catch it, Monty? What? Oh, the interaction. Sad. Every time you talk to him, press he says, the, yeah, Shepherd. here, talk to him. Talk, listen, Monty, listen. Shepard. Rex. Rex. <laughs> yeah! 
Remember what Bosco and I did in Prince yeah, Division? Yeah, remember? That's right. Prince that's, Division? That's right, I remember. Also, uh -huh. I called him Rex the whole campaign, and now you know why. Also. There he is, your boy. Mm, that's the boy. Thanks for bringing me on board, Commander. I knew working with the Spectre would be better than life at CSAC. Also, one you second, Monty. We hit a couple of bits. Oh, did we? Well, no, but mm -hmm. I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. At CSEC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. Uh, we had Oathbreaker John with 100 bits saying, Never forget, Jenkins. Morth Rander, thank you for the 50 bits. I should go. Classic. Uh, Shiny Lamp, thank you for the bit. Ribbit. Uh, we had the Drifter of Time and Space with 1,000 bits and some change. I recently got Mass Effect Legendary Edition, which was all the games on PS4. I will play it at some point, but I'll keep watching here if only to see different choices made here. Also, the subreddit for human space orcs is humanity. Fuck yeah. One of my favorite story places. And then we also had... Uh, Rocker Hulan. I'm sure I messed that up. 100 bits. Is it me or is it common for these kinds of settings to each have alien races having their own speciality while humans are generally a jack-of-all-trades species? Humans then, generally uh, we are a jack-of-all-trades. Yeah. And then we had a couple of first-time chatters and Morth Rander with another 20 bits question. Who do we need to talk to to have Arkov on one of the new Mass Effects as a Krogan? I mean... John Mass Effect. Call him up. John Mass Effect, exactly. Right side is, they wouldn't have to modulate my voice much. They still would. I know. They, they, I think Michael Dorn is, uh... Oh, God, one of the Krogan in this game. I'm pressing buttons now. For the most part, Do the it. rules are there for a reason. Maybe. But sometimes it feels like the rules are only there to stop me from doing my work. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. CSEC's handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hated it. I hope you made the right choice. I'd hate for you to regret it later. Well, that's sort of why I teamed up with you. It's a chance for me to get off the Citadel, see how things are done outside CSEC. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. Whatever. That's if fair. getting the job done means endangering innocent people, then no. We get the job done right, not fast. Got it? I wasn't trying to. I understand. Yeah. Don't kill a bunch of civilians, all right? Oh, fuck the Mako. Ugh. You can give your licenses to the shop guy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. You bought a few. Looking for supplies? Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Look at all that shit you can't buy. Woo! Hey, you can access the Spectre stuff from here. So when yeah. you do have the money. Also, welcome in, Killionaire. Glad you found us on YouTube. Hope you're enjoying. Welcome to oh, the yeah. live stream. A lot, of, a lot of people. Yeah, we got a couple it. of first-time chatters. We have uh, yeah, Killionaire. Yeah, we have quite a few. We have Hex. We have Representative Joints. Welcome in, guys. Well, and welcome, gals and non-binary pals. Welcome to the live, live strum. Yep. That's been my Suck. new intro on my stream is, what's up, guys, gals, and non-binary pals? <laughs> hey, Commander. You know that Quarian tally? She's been spending all her time down here asking me about our engines. I'll tell her to leave you alone. What? No, she's amazing. <laughs> I wish my guys were half as smart as she is. Give her a month on board and she'll know more about our engines than I do. She's got a real knack for technology, that one. I can see why you wanted her to come along. Yeah, I figured she'd be a real asset to the team. You've got an eye for talent, Commander. But I'm guessing that's not why you came down here. Uh, Fill me in on the IES stealth system. How does it work exactly? Oh god, technology. Science! Need too much heat and radiation. Too easy for sensors to pick them up. Unless you find a way to capture those emissions. So our stealth systems trap the energy we give off in storage sinks built into the ship itself. No emissions to give away our location. We capture Eventually, the farts the in a fart seal chamber. A few hours silent, 
running and they overheat. Cook us inside our own hull. There's no way for anyone to detect us? A visual scan can still pick us up. Anyone looking out a window can see us plain as day. But you have to be pretty close to get an actual visual out in space. Most vessels rely on scanners. As long as the stealth systems are engaged, they can't see us. Not unless we accelerate to FTL speeds. Why doesn't it work with faster-than-light travel? Cranking up the FTL, blue shifts our emissions, pushes them into frequencies too high to capture in sinks. As soon as we make the jump, it's like setting off a flare. The sensors can pick up our location whenever we enter or exit FTL flight, but for short-range missions, our stealth systems are amazing. God! One. Riveting! Hey, uh, I like this stuff. On, Leave Adams. me be. I don't want to... Yeah. Yeah, Especially as somebody like Spider Jets, futuristic space. space. This we thing don't... is like a futuristic spaceship that is also a fighter jet, and I love it. We don't give off farts that reveal our location, and then we're good. All right. More or less. This is the this is the F twenty two Raptor of the like Alliance. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. I'm starting to understand why you humans have been so successful. I like I had Tali. No idea alliance vessels were so advanced. Everyone does. Yeah, Tali's great. Your also, where's Bracky to send? Cutting edge technology. A month ago, I was patching a makeshift fuel line into a converted tug ship in the flotilla. Now, I'm sitting on board one of the most advanced vessels in Citadel space. I have to thank you again for bringing me along. Traveling on a vessel like this is a dream come true for me. That's not why you're here. Wow. No you're into ship? I like, she's a geek, I love her. It comes with being a Quarian. The migrant fleet is the key to the survival. Tali is gonna be your personal she insert character, Monty. Resource. But we don't have anything like this. We make do with cast-offs and second-hand equipment. We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. Some of the fleet's larger vessels date all the way back to our original flight from the Geth. God, that's really old. I can't believe your fleet's still using ships that are three centuries old. They're constantly being repaired, modified, and refitted. They aren't pretty, but they work, mostly. We've tried to make ourselves as independent as possible on the flotilla, grow our own food, mine, and process our own fuel. But some things we just can't make on our own. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we just don't have. That's why they do the pilgrimages. Pilgrim okay, that's interesting. I like it. Tell me more. Tell me about your people. Our lives aren't easy. Resources are scarce, and we are constantly on the move. Everything we do must in some way contribute to the continuation of the migrant fleet. There are 17 million quarians in the flotilla, and each of us relies on the others for survival. The bonds among my people are strong. Unfortunately, we have had to surrender many of the freedoms and civil liberties that other species take for granted. Oh, like what? What kind of freedoms? Well, it's illegal for parents to have more than ah. one child. If our population grows too much, it would strain so they have resources a one -child to policy. their breaking point. Mm -hmm. Of course, we also can't allow our numbers to become too few. If our population is in decline, the rule against single births is temporarily repealed. In extreme cases of population decline, incentives are even offered to encourage multiple You get a free car if you have another baby. You have to take such measures in nearly a century. Huh. I mean, that makes sense. If you're on a very limited space, you have to be very conscious about that. Yeah, if you live literally on ships. Yeah. I also love true. that they basically went Romani for the Quarians. I like it. I think it's interesting. That's your government. The Conclave is our civilian branch of government. Each ship can elect a representative to serve on the Conclave and make decisions that affect the fleet. As I like that whole. they don't have a planet. They're on just on a big, that big fleet of ships. Ship, yeah. However, the well, they lost it to the Geth. Final say. It's a tradition that dates back to the early days when the fleet was governed by martial law. Fortunately, most captains nowadays are smart enough to have an elected council from their crew to give them advice and guidance. Well, you're democratic. So the ultimate power rests with elected officials? In practice, the Conclave and the respective council for each ship tend to set the rules that govern our daily lives. But in theory, we are still under military jurisdiction. 
The five top-ranking military officials in the fleet serve on the Admiralty Board. These five have the power to overrule any decision by the Conclave in case of emergency. Interesting. To do so requires unanimous agreement among the Admiralty. And they can only do this once. After that, the entire board must resign their posts. What? It's a safeguard that served us well. In nearly three centuries, the Admiralty Board has only overruled the Conclave four times. So if they overrule something that the Conclave has pressed forward, all of the people in that seat of power basically can't remain in that they power They have to anymore. step down. They're done. They have to step down immediately. If not, Which means become... if they do it, it has to be something so important or they feel so strongly about that it has to be stopped. That it has to be stopped. Yep. Wow, that's And that's why it's only happened four times. It's a hell of a safeguard. That's interesting. That's see this I like this type of stuff. This is cool. I'm gonna say right now, Mass Effect has done probably the best job I've ever seen about having so many different cultural civilizations completely flushed out. Like the Quarians are completely different than the Turians, completely different than the Krogan, completely different than the Salarians, and they're so in depth with their history. It's it's incredible world building. It's so cool. Yeah. Tell me about the goths at the local. Um, that that is not how that's said. Topic. I want to know more about the guests. I doubt I can tell you anything yeah, you, you don't heard already the movie. know. It's been Nightmare almost three Christmas. centuries since they drove my people into exile. All I know is the story of their origins, what they were when we created them, and how they turned on us. Tell me. Interesting. The geth were originally created to serve as an automated manual labor force. Initially, their intelligence was as limited as any VI. Over time, we made small modifications to their programming to allow them to perform more varied and complex tasks, bringing them closer and closer to true AI status. How come the Council didn't step in and stop you? This wasn't true AI research. We may have been skirting the bounds of the law, yeah, but there the never been the anything that was actually illegal. The changes were so insignificant, so gradual, that we were able to control them. Or so we thought. But one thing we underestimated was the power of the neural network. A million geth thinking simultaneously created an inherently unstable matrix. Yeah, so they're basically like ants. So like a, just a huge super body. Basically. Mm -hmm. A hive mind. Ants are wild, by the way. Like, don't, like, ants are fucking cool. Because each individual, each individual <laughs> ant is, like, obviously its own thing. But, like, ant colonies are just kind of their own animal entirely. And that shit's cool. I'm reminded of an old show called VR Troopers. Where it's a bunch of humans in space fighting alien ants that were massive. And it never ended well for them. Ants are terrifying in force. Shout out to Ants Canada, by the way. If you ever want, like, a really cool ant... Oh, our call. you and I should watch Ants Canada. It's so fascinating. It's literally this guy in Canada who's got all these different ant colonies, and he starts them off with, like, a queen. And then, like... Oh, that guy! Yeah, he loves his ants. Chat, this is what I want for you. I want you to find someone in your life who loves you as much as Ants Canada loves his fucking ants. Ants Canada loves his ants so much. It also I made me like. It's called Starship Troopers. Oh, Starship Troopers! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, ants are cool. Like I used to. I I'm still kind of scared of ants. I don't like ants being in my house because they don't pay rent. But like, I kind of appreciate them a little bit more now. Wow. <laughs> they don't pay fucking rent. Yeah, but that's not why I don't want them in my house. I don't want them <laughs> in my house even if they paid rent. That's fair. <laughs> That's that's completely fair. All right, neural network. So the Geth share brain power. Many of the Geth's logic systems were designed to work in concert with other nearby Geth. Basically, the more of them you have in the group, the smarter they are. So there's some sort of group consciousness. No, nothing like that. They cannot share sensory data or information. Their programming cannot handle that mm. much simultaneous. So it's not a hive mind. Each Geth maintains an individual awareness and identity. The neural network only operates on a process-based level. It's basically the synthetic equivalent of a subconscious. Oh. But when they're in close proximity, 
they can coordinate low-level functional processes, freeing up more capacity for original or independent thought. So, yeah, so the closer they are to each other, the more intelligent they become, basically. The more the geth there are nearby, the more intelligent they become. That's the more that's, sentient they become too. What a terrible I was gonna say, the more, idea. The more awareness that they have because they have more processing power because other stuff is taken care of. What a terrible idea. <laughs> like, Jesus, that doesn't make any sense. I'm probably oversimplifying. The Geth are incredibly advanced and complex creations. All you need to know is that they get smarter when they gather in large numbers. As we built more and more Geth, their effective intelligence became more sophisticated, more abstract. One day, a Geth began to ask its Quarian overseer questions about the nature of its Ooh. existence. Am I alive? Why am I here? What is my purpose? As you can imagine, this caused a near panic among my people. I don't see what's so bad about this question. So I do. I could throw it. The Geth were created to engage in mundane, repetitive, or dangerous manual labor. That's fine for machines, but it won't satisfy a sentient being for long. The Geth were showing signs of rudimentary self-awareness and independent thought. If the Geth were intelligent, then we were essentially using them as slaves. So yeah, okay, at least they were aware, like, it was kind of fucked up. The newly sentient Geth would rebel against their situation. We knew they would rise up against us, so we acted first. A general order went out across all Quarian-controlled systems to permanently deactivate all Geth. The Geth responded to this order violently. Oh, they're becoming alive. We should kill them all immediately. Yeah, that's Jesus, you guys. I mean, that's pretty smart. I mean, on the one hand, I'm like, they were, on the one hand, they're like, oh shit. If they're like sentient, they're now slaves and that's fucked up. We should just yeah. kill them all. I'm like, that's the wrong solution here. No, that's pretty safe. Cause if they get too smart, then they're going to just kill you. Mm. It's proactive. I'm, I'm down with it. We had no other choice. The Geth were already on the verge of revolution. By acting quickly, we had a chance to end the war before it began. And how'd that work out the for you? The was that most of the Geth would still be little more than machines, incapable of organized resistance. But they had progressed much further than anyone anticipated. The war was long and bloody. Millions upon millions of Quarians died at their hands. In the end, we were forced to flee our own homeworld. We feared the Geth would pursue us, but they never came beyond the Veil. Now we drift through space, exiled, searching for a way to reclaim what was once ours. God, it's like... So, but here's what I love about this game. You can see both sides of it. You're like, oh, yeah. yeah. They're trying to save themselves, but also, fuck, they're basically killing a species. In their own way, yeah. And then an ulcer. And it's like, which side are you on? It, but, like, it's... I love the gray ambiguity of the situations. Because, yeah. in the end, I feel like they kind of, like... You know, the Uguay quote, quote, which is very true. Self-fulfilling prophecy here. You, know, you often... Yep. You often fulfill your destiny on the road you take to avoid it. And it's like, this is the case in point. Like, you were like, oh, shit, they're sentient. We're gonna have... There's gonna be a revolution. Let's kill them now. And that caused the revolution immediately. Exactly. Instead. And it's like, fuck. Yep. Serves you right. So I feel like that's just going to repeat what was previously said. All right, pilgrimage. Uh, you can pick an answer. I was going to say, you when can, When my people yeah. reach maturity, we leave our birth ships and seek acceptance with a new crew. It's necessary to maintain genetic diversity. Oh, so they treat people around. Sleep. But no ship wants to accept someone who will be a burden on them. So, to prove our worth, we embark on a pilgrimage. We set out alone, leaving the flotilla and our families behind us. We only return once we have found something of value we can bring back to the fleet. This is presented as a gift to the captain of the respective ship we wish to join. If the gift is accepted, we are welcome into the crew. Oh, okay, so she's not underage. Uh, someone told me she's, like, 22, actually. I can check for you if you want. Yeah. I forget her exact age, but they, like, that's the whole pilgrimage thing. That's how By core to... in term, she's not an adult, though, which I'm like, I get that. Correct. 
All right. Can a captain choose to reject the gift? Uh, that doesn't happen often. Most captains are eager to increase the size of their crew. It increases their own standing in our society. Even when a gift is not particularly valuable, the captain usually accepts it out of a sense of tradition. However, there is a stigma to presenting a substandard gift. It's not the best way to make a good impression on a new community. Most pilgrims don't return until they find something worthwhile. Huh. I, I, this is interesting. I can't believe they just Makes sense, you off alone. It's not like they just cast us out. Before we leave, we are given lessons in how to survive outside the flotilla, and given gifts to help us on our journey. This game, she is 22. We are okay. implants to fight off sickness and disease. Generations of living in an isolated and highly controlled environment. That's right, they can't. They have a bad immune system. Than most. By the time we leave the fleet, we are well equipped for the pilgrimage. This is a rite of passage for all Quarians. If it were dangerous, our numbers would suffer. Virtually every pilgrimage ends with a triumphant return and the ritual presentation of the gift to one of the fleet's captains. I want to talk about something else. Like what? Nothing. Goodbye. <laughs> so they have, they have no immune system? Oh shit, that's bad. We've been living in a environmentally controlled area on those ships for so long. There's no pathogens, no microbiomes there. Their immune system is so shot that if those suits break down in any way, getting sick is the least of their worries. I like to imagine how like someone like sneezes on her her like her her face thing, just pulls out a little squeegee and goes. As long as the suit's sealed, she's fine. Going up. I like Tali. I'm a little sad as a femme chef. I can't romance her in the second game, but. Oh well. It's all right. Oh, but it, oh, I can't say I'm. Nope. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Let's just say you're gonna make a very interesting. The galaxy map. You're gonna make a very interesting choice if you ever make it to two. That could completely change her life. Joker may actually have some stuff to say. I was gonna say I want to talk Let's to Joker. Let's go. Let's go, Joker. I love that his name is just Joker. Too. Commander, something you need? How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she? My did? eyes are very scary. The best ship in the fleet. If I look like I'm gonna fucking eat handle. him. Look at my eyes. Expect. It takes a while to get used to that oversized drive. It's the side eye. Back and a power can sneak up on you if you're not careful. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average. You're visualizing the keepers. Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. <laughs> you cheeky son of a bitch. I like you, Joker. All right. Well, I like to know my crew. Mind Seth Green is great. Questions. <laughs> I can see where this is going. You did a background check on me, didn't you? Well, I'll tell you the same thing I told the captain. You want me as your pilot. I'm not good. What did I'm you do? Great. I am the best damn helmsman in the Alliance fleet. Top of my class in flight school, I earned that. All those commendations in my file, I earned every single one. Those weren't given to me as charity for my disease. I, I didn't mean to insult you. Wait, what disease? Oh god, I have questions. I don't want to upset him, but I'm also like, what disease? What are you talking about? Are you sick? You mean... You mean you didn't know? Oh, crap. Okay, I've got Vrolich syndrome, brittle bone disease. The bones in my legs never develop properly. They're basically hollow, too much force, and they'll shatter. Even with crutches and my leg braces, it's hard to get around. One wrong step and crack! Very dramatic. But I've learned to manage my condition, Commander. Put the Normandy in my hands and I'll make her dance for you. Just don't ask me to get up and dance unless, you know, you like the sound of snapping shin bones. <laughs> okay, I like you, Joker. Also, he would never be allowed on never the Never Broke a Bone subreddit. He would be cast out immediately. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm genuinely curious. How Why do you... does everyone call you Joker? It's a lot shorter than saying Alliance Flight Lieutenant Jeff Moreau. Plus, I love to make little children laugh. <laughs> You're dodging the question. Look, I didn't pick the name. One of the instructors in flight school used to bug me about never smiling. She started calling me Joker, mm, and it stuck. Why didn't you ever smile? Hey, I worked my ass off in flight school, Commander. The world's not gonna hand you anything if you go around grinning like an idiot. 
By the end of the year, I was the best pilot in the academy, even better than the instructors, and everybody knew it. They'd all got their asses kicked by the sickly kid with the creaky little legs. One guess who was smiling at graduation. I need to know more about this Brolix syndrome if I'm putting my ship in your hands. Yeah, of course you do. It's an extremely rare condition. Nobody knows exactly what causes it. Genetic, maybe. It's treatable, but there's no cure. They classify my case as moderate to severe. I was born with over a dozen fractures. Hip, thighs, ankles, my bones were already breaking in the womb. Jesus. A hundred years ago, I wouldn't have survived past my first year. Lucky for me, modern medical science has turned me into a productive member of society. It's Mr. Glass. Oh my god, every day I wake Mr. up Glassman. and my, I, my 50 of my bones break. You're not gonna break a That's bone an trying to climb a ship, I just are made. You? Uh, I don't fly with my feet, Commander, so I'm fine You're as long as I'm call. in this chair. I gotta be real careful when I get up to take a piss, though. I can do my job as well as anyone on the ship. Better, actually. So don't worry about it. I'm not I'm trying not... to make you uncomfortable. Let's talk about something else. Whatever you want, Commander. Oh, is it a real syndrome? Yeah. Holy shit. I had no idea. Riddle bone disease. Oste osteogenesis. Imperfecta. Imperfecta. Wow. Interesting. It's How's kind of performing? the antithesis to, uh... Be? She's the best ship in the fleet. Bone man syndrome. You've got a pilot yeah. who knows how to handle her. Balance isn't what you'd expect. Takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got stuffed in the back, and her power can sneak up on you if you're not careful. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. Uh... Is there anything else here? This is a very confusing. Is that your nickname? Did you already do personal history? How'd you end up joining the yeah. Alliance? Look, if you're looking for an inspirational tale of the crippled kid overcoming impossible odds, you're gonna be disappointed. My mother was a civilian contractor working for the Alliance. I basically grew up on the Arcturus station back when they were building up the fleets. Spend all that time around Alliance ships, there's a good chance you'll end up going to the Academy. How'd you end up joining the Alliance? Look, if you're oh. looking for my spend all that time around Alliance, you should be done a good for chance now. you'll end up right. going to the Well, Academy. we learned a lot. I actually have no have idea go. about that with Joker. Right, see ya. It's kind of the opposite disease to uh, Fibrodysplasia ossificans progressiva, which is bone man syndrome, mm. where your body heals by producing more bone in all yeah, your tissues. In all the tissues. All right. Hello? Let me in! Yeah. You have to go to the ramp, Monty. You have to go to the. Monty, Sorry. what are you doing? <laughs> what the? <laughs> Listen, all right? Okay, everybody, I'm your captain. Ignore that. That was just a test to make sure that shut up. All right, let's go. Space! Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, this is... Oh. Now, I believe you said you were going after the new crewmate first? Yes, where am I? Ah! Uh, you want to zoom out. Ah! How do I zoom out? Help, I'm slipping and sliding all over this map. That's a good question, actually. How do you I zoom? How to zoom out, Bosco? How do I zoom out? Uh, I don't escape. remember on the keyboard. Oh! Uh, right clicking may do it, and escape may do it. Uh, okay. God, this is so disorientating. Yeah, it's I'm really not, sensitive. I'm not switching mouse. to a controller. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got you. Uh, oh, okay, we're good. We're good. Oh lord. Yeah, you're oh, good. Shit. You okay. You want to go for the dig site? Dig site. Wow, I'm super sensitive on the mouse. That's weird. Yeah, you're Jesus. <laughs> yeah, you should be able to left click on the dig site. All right, left click. Mm -hmm. What the fuck? There's so much. I don't remember which specific system it is, so, uh, explore. Uh, let's go... Oh, let's go meet Kratos in Sparta! Or... Or... Here you go, Monty. Here we go. Our first launch. Your ship is launching, boy. A 
also I'm avoiding chat like a motherfucker because I think people are saying where to actually go, so I'm avoiding it. Yeah, right. no spoilers in chat. I'm in. Fuck, there's planets? Yep. No! There's planets in the system. You can examine each one. Hey, Monty, are you ready for the Mako? No! Our it's time over. to do a Mako. Oh. So you have to know exactly where you're going, but you don't visit every planet. You can look at every planet if you want to. Generally, you yeah, want to they... give them a quick glance to see if it's where you need to go. Commander, I'm picking up a signal from the planet's surface. It looks like an automated oh, distress go. beacon. Oh, shit. See, they'll let you know if there's something Endless. to do. It's a terrestrial planet with an atmosphere of carbon dioxide and, and nitrogen. And the list of services covered by wide deserts of silicon sand with only a few areas of igneous. I almost said indigenous, which is not correct. <laughs> rock islands to break the abrasive dust choked winds. But we've heard the rock islands would be indigenous to the planet. Alright, let's mm -hmm. go. So with the rock lobsters. Uh, at least till Monty gets a hold of them. Hey, it's Mako time! Uh. You get to see how they improved it. Spacebar is your boosters and your jump. And uh, driving is WASD. Okay, cool. Your gun is left click. Good luck, click. Your zoom is right click. Why oh, Jesus! This? No, zoom is not right click! <laughs> zoom is, in fact, fuck you, explosion! Ah. Whee! Okay. And I don't remember what zoom is. So, so I gotta say, the already turret, they man. have fixed the Mako. It looks way more stable. If you really want to test it, try jumping with your space bar. Oh yeah, it is way more stable. Hello? Wait, is this... How the fuck? You can get out. How? Uh, try pressing and holding E. Why did you look at your controls, Monty? No, that I like I actually. like bumbling around. No. Uh, ah! It is Q. Whoa! Cool helmets. Mm hmm. What the fuck is going on here? I think this is just to show you that this is a planet where a distress signal is coming from. Okay. So you need to look around for a base or something. Once you get back in the Mako, I believe you can hit M to bring up on a map. Oh, shit. That shows you where you are. You're currently in the south. Your points of interest are the question marks. So I need to go to the north. Yep, you can right-click to set a destination marker, which will show up in the overworld. <clears throat> oh, God, thank God you're here. <laughs> you're like, I don't know what I would do without you. I, I would quit the game like I did last time, probably. My favorite thing to do is bounce around with the Mako. So I do have a guy open with this if new you version. Need... Watch this sick if jump, you... guys! Hut, hut, yeah, yeah. See it? That was so cool! So, if you, Monty, if you press Q, you should get out. I know, I, I figured that out on my own. Okay. I have a, I have oh a... god! No! Okay, oh! we're fine. <laughs> Wee. Wee. Yeah, I I'm not gonna lie, as aggravating as the Mako was. Yep, it's a planet I thought yeah, it was. Yeah, there's the worm! Ah! Shit! You gotta kill it! The Thresher Maw! Look out! Look out hey, I, I got go! Acid. Don't do that again. Oh, look out, Monty. Press R. I am. I'm pressing R. Oh, I don't oh, like that. I hope somebody up. clips that. <laughs> yeah, that was amazing. <laughs> Have you ever seen the movie ah, called No, 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 no. God, no. No, no, no. Look out, ah. Monty, run. Oh, God. Oh, I'm on fire. She's going to die in the Mako. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> Critical mission failure. <laughs> Game. When was the last time Game I saved? Over. Uh, you tell me, Monty. You save a lot. I didn't. I don't think I saved. I hope saved. you had an auto save. I hope an auto save when you dropped in was there. Oh, thank God. Okay, yeah, we're there good. you go. We're good. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> cool. 
Oh, I'm so happy it's the planet I thought it was. It's, I'm real. I was like, I'm not saying anything about the worms until she finds one. So yeah, those can randomly <laughs> pop up on any on any world. It just depends cool. on the world that you're Glad on. Glad, love that. All right. So how do you that like the early 2000s perfect. version of Orthworm, Monty? Oh, oh yes. Dude, Let's Tremors is real. <laughs> right click is your cannon, which does a lot of damage. Your left click is your turret, which does sustain damage, just not much. I don't know how to like move and aim because if I, well, hold on. You can actually. use WASD to just strafe. Whoop. Yeah, you don't want to get within melee range of that. I don't want to get within keeping range. Oh god, it's moving again. You just gotta keep moving. No, 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 no. God, I hate this. It's really hard to, like, focus. Oh I god. You just press and hold down A or D. It'll keep you moving without having to, uh... W. That way you can aim more readily. Oh, okay, that works. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It treated like Final Fantasy strafing. Uh, that doesn't help you me. You were too think... far away. They're not heal. Is it gone? Nope. No, it is definitely not gone. No, 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 no. I want to press A. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> You drove into it. Yeah, don't drive into it. I'm trying! Yeah, don't, don't drive into it. So okay. if you really want to, Monty, you can park and shoot it if this is too hard. This is really hard. But the make will be way more Why is it taking so long to repair? Because you have to wait for it to actually do all the repairs. The more hurt you are, the longer it takes. Oh, don't get hit, though. It'll stop the repairs. Jump up. Ooh. Yep. Oh, yeah, you can also jump to dodge things. Yeah. Jump. Oh. Jump. Oh, oh no. Oh. There you go. Oh, God. Come on, dude. Really? Yeah, it does track to some degree. Yeah. So, Monty, if, again, if it's too hard for you to do with the Mako with the controls, you can actually park, get out, and shoot it. It's just going to take a while. <laughs> but now you gotta run. He's gonna shoot you again. I mean, you're doing also, well. Use, your, use both your uh, use both your cannon and your machine gun, because the cannon does the most damage. No! Oh, oh. It's terrible. You ran into an object. Yeah, you're also too far. Stop hitting me! No, I want to repair. Oh, I'm out of uh, to repair. You might be out, though. God damn it, this is so fucking hard. I heard, why, yeah, this is why are you why not you going? Play. The A button only works sometimes. Did I? There is a. There is... Holy shit, it's dead. You, you killed it. You killed it. Oh my god. Now you can investigate. Yeah, don't return to the Normandy. <laughs> oh my god. Great. Congratulations, Monty. You did it. Yeah. I'm a winner. Lion soldier. Looks like they were lured here by the distress beacon. I'm just gonna real quick. So somebody set that up to kill them. Interesting. Looks like these men were under Admiral Kahoku's command. He'd want to know what happened here. That was the guy standing in Citadel Tower waiting to speak with someone. Oh, that guy. Cool. Should I take all these? Yes. Cool. Oh my god. I did it. I killed the space worm. Congratulations, you killed the hardest enemy in the game. Did it's I? True. Yeah. God, I'm such a bitch. Your maws are not to be fucked with. No, it's also because the Mako is really hard to shoot in unless you get the hang of it. Yeah, no fucking it just, kidding. It takes a while. Get me Sometimes in. with the Mako, it's. A good idea to not just constantly move forward. Sometimes you'll need to move backwards. Sometimes you'll need to sit in place and just jump straight up to dodge shit. Exactly. Yeah, you you'll get the hang okay. of it as you go, but go it'll help now? having people here. I'm yeah, on fire. So you can just return to the Normandy. Okay. You're done. 
Whatever button you were using to return to the Normandy. Yeah. Take me back. I'm so happy you landed on that planet first. That was first. amazing. And now that, that could happen every time. No, don't tell me these things. All right, I'm going back to. It endless. won't happen every time, but it could. We're gonna go back. Back to the past. No, to end the Jack. Because there's another thing there, I saw on the map. Hey, there was another question mark. All right, let's go. I did it. I was brave the whole time. Uh huh. Totally. What do you have for the Thresher Maw spitting acid at you? Sometimes the best thing to do is just sit still, wait for them to get close, then jump straight up. Jump. Why am I still on fire? This is bullshit. I mean, it looks like you're fine. Yeah. You're gonna need to repair the Mako. How do I do that? I have nothing to repair you have to with. Get more, you have to get more repair things. How do if you I want get... more Omni Gel, you can break down items in your inventory for it. Correct. I don't have anything. Uh, Did you already you sell should... all your stuff? Basically. Uh, well you should then, have some you stuff. Can buy, you can buy Omni Gel, I think. Wee. Wait, if I, if I crash this thing, will it blow up? No. No, no you won't take damage. damage from the environment. It'll just keep rolling. But if, if anything shoots you, you'll die. No! Also, just, just be... Yeah. If you don't have enough momentum, you're not going to get up something like that. That word better not yeah, It's respond. not Skyrim. Yeah. Any game can be you'll Skyrim. Get the, you'll get the hang of it. You just, again, you need to work through it. So where you're, you're following your beacon, right? Yeah, yeah. there was another thing. Yeah. I swear, so there's just another... going, going straight is not always the best option. Sometimes you have to go around stuff. Yeah, that's why the map has topography on it. Exactly. I'll type your geography. No, that's... I thought you liked how, how dare you stop me, Monty Blue, Master of Mountains. Uh, I thought you were Master of Bears. No, I'm not the Master of Bears. I'm the Master of Bears. Fuck with me all the time. I've been lied to all these years. Whee! Oh, uh, that's a terrible idea. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. All right, I did it. You did it. Now, what are we looking for? Oh, shit. Oh. All right. That's a dead Solarian. Oh, shit. Mummified Solarian. Jesus. Cover artifact. Art <laughs> what? <laughs> Artocrat? <laughs> An autocrat. ID tag recovered. You found Captain Nalan's identification tag. How would it appear is impossible to know for sure. Okay, cool. I love this side mission stuff. I did everything in the first game. Even the minerals. Yeah, those minerals are generally worthwhile. Um, it's just, it's just a pain in the ass haunting. because sometimes. How do I, huh? what? I press I. You see these extra assault rifles you have? You can turn those into Omni Gel. I only have two. Yeah. But you could turn them into Omni Gel. If you select them, then click Omni Gel in the bottom right, you'll turn them into Omni Gel. You can also convert all junk to Omni Gel immediately. Yes. Is this one better? The one I'm using? That one is better. It is. My, you should just my... equip it. It's better in all regards. How do I all right, equip and then there you go. gel this? Okay. You can omni gel your snipers that you don't want. Although oh, you should look at Garrus to see, because Gar Garrus also uses a sniper. I wanna the Reaper sniper one. is much better for you. Yes. Yeah. So we'll delete all of these, I guess. Uh, yep. Go to Garrus first, because he also go uses snipers. Go to Garrus snipers. to check him. So you'll want to give him the hammer too, because that'll is it, be a much better weapon. Well, for him. I, it'll be a little bit more damage. He'll just it'll take longer for him to reload. He's got the Avenger one that looks better because look, these are both worse. Uh, well, it depends the, on if you want him to damage. shoot. It does more damage, and you're only losing two on the accuracy. All right, fair enough. All right, so let's delete all these. All these can be deleted now. Correct. Yep. Mm -hmm. Unless Rex you want to give one to uses pistols and shotguns. Yeah. So if you go over to Rex, you should have some pistols and shotguns you can give him. Hold yep. On, hold on. Shit. Shit. Uh... You will not have any humans that can equip heavy armor, so you may as well get rid of that. Yeah, okay. So 
I'll need gel that. I'll need gel that. All right, cool. Good. Now. Now you have Omni Gel for repairs. And now it's on cooldown, so you can return to Normandy or go for those minerals if you wish. Minerals! I hope we find some bismuth. Or perhaps some quartz. If you're making a reference, it's going over my head. What do I hear a noise? There's environmental effects going on okay. at all times. I, thought, I legitimately thought it was another worm, and my fight or flight response just set off. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I'll find some salt to garnish the keeper's legs with for dinner. I don't know if this setting still has leak or not, so you might not find much salt. Crashed probe. This is not a mineral. What? You're too dumb to get it! Oh no! If only you could switch to a smart person. Damn it! Wait. If only you could switch to a smart person. If Can I? only you could somehow leave the planet and bring along someone who's good with technology, like... Tolly! Like Tolly! Fuck! All right. Tolly. <laughs> God damn At least it. until your own electronic skill is better. Yeah, well, it'll never be better than Tolly's. Yeah, let, me, let, me, let me grab the space cadet. We're good. Well, wait, did you... You should give the choice here. Yeah, there you go. This is Garrus, if not. If I don't bring Garrus with me, I feel like Bosco will scream. No, you can bring. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can bring Rex if it'll hurt Arkov's feelings. Look, I'm used to getting left behind. You can't no! bring that matters. I mean, it's fair. You are a ginger. Exactly. Right, let's go. <laughs> People are going to listen to us on YouTube and be like, what the fuck did he say? And then Arkov's going to be like, no, he's right. Yeah, no, no, he's, he's got a point. Yeah, no, no, no. It's okay. Fine. It's fine. Although I do know. Oh, hey, that art jack is in the chat. What up, Jack Kaiser? Oh, shit. Hope you had your seatbelt on. Hell no. We're in space. Seatbelts are. We are in space. Is that legendary artist, Jack Kaiser, who you can find at that art jack on Twitter and on twitch.tv slash that art jack? It is. And you can also commission him on his live streams where he does commissions live on stream. Two hour speed paints. And I noticed on your map, Monty. That question mark where the Thresher Mall was, he's not crossed out. You may need to go back there and inspect that beacon no, or something. No, don't say I need to go back, because the worm will be there. Whee! The worm shouldn't be back. Oh, stars! Oh, God! Yeah. yeah, there's a little gear icon there. Jack, you're the one that made yourself noticeable by posting so this is what you get and yes theropod art theropodart jackalus kaiser is bringing you all the speed paint goodies this christmas yeah you don't have to worry about the pressure mall respawning cool rock fuck yeah the yeah children actually you should check that out babies yeah. for miles. that's a it's lithium cool oh god really I forgot every mini game early on is just this. Mural surveyed! Yep. That gets right. you experience, money, and a bunch of other goodies. Now we can make batteries with that lithium. Need some eye on though. Ah! Wheelie! Woo! <laughs> Therapod has a point. You should never take rocks like that for granted. You it actually, what? No, it actually, it helps. Also, I feel like it was never this easy to find minerals in the original game. I feel like they made this way easier. Uh, no, they were always marked on the map like this. Were they always marked? Okay. I feel like the main it was always, points of were always marked. But it's generally best to explore the whole map if you want a lot of minerals. No, Tali, how do I make her do it? 
Uh, go to her squad page and see if her electronics yeah. is very high or not. Now has three. Just three. That may be enough. If it's not, you can always come back here later. How do I make her do it, though? Uh, you cannot. If she would be you able cannot. to do it, she would have already done it. God damn yeah, it! Yeah, if you click on it, if you click on it, and she has a high enough skill, it'll work. All right. Well, mm -hmm. now we know. Last thing to do is head back to that beacon. Right. Not the worm. You, the Thresher Boss should not respawn, so you should be fine. Oh, thank you God. See, when you complete a point of interest, it crosses out the question mark. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could stop driving backwards. There we go. Whee! God, if I was actually in this vehicle, I would be bombing so hard right I, now. I can believe it. I have to imagine it has a gyro stabilizer or something in it. See? Yeah, the, uh, I actually kind of like that there's that glare. It's very realistic. Woo! Uh, uh. Jesus Christ. So how are you enjoying the makeup this time? I like it better now that I know what the fuck to do. And I probably, you know, <laughs> I think I'm remembering why I quit. I think I ran into one of the Thresher thingies, died to it, went fuck this, and stopped playing. You did have a very visceral reaction to it. I wasn't scared mm. of it. It was just like, yeah. You see if you can been here. inspect that beacon. Yep. I think um, she, I think you just ha I think you just have oh, to talk to Oh, you may just need people. to shoot it. Blow yeah. it up. Fuck yeah, let's blow go. And yeah, jump with the Mako and blow it the fuck up. Blow it up. If that doesn't work then I don't remember what the hell you're supposed to do. I thought you just had to like go to the body. I don't know why I wouldn't get rid of the question mark, though. It's too powerful! Well, no, it did get rid of the question. It, like, it's an X now. Is it on the main map, though? Yeah, the X is right when you bang into it. Like, check the quest in your in your log. It'll tell you what you have to do oh, next. Oh, now it's X'd out. So, yeah, it's yeah, done it now. Yeah, it was X'd out when she, when she pressed on the body. Because like all you have though. to do is get that information that they were killed by this beacon, and then you move on. Can we blow up the beacon? Ah, uh, it doesn't look like it. Beans. You well, can yeah, double tap the yeah. bodies, though, if you want to be safe. Nah, Oh, good. God, no. All right, back to the, to the ship. Return to the We got some silicate or whatever the, the fuck we got. All right, cool. Whoa. Now to check the other planets and see where your actual goal is. All right, shit, okay. Uh, let's go to... Treminary. Nothing. That one? Generally when it comes to these solar systems, there's only one point of interest. Very rarely are there two. Oh, survey! That'll get you materials. Gas deposit survey. <laughs> Someone's been farting. Cool. And then... All sages. Survey. Plutonium? Hell yeah, Pluto. Now you can make nukes. Alright. Uh, how do I... You right-click to zoom out. I do not. I press escape to zoom out. Ah! Must have had different controls there. Let's go to Athens. It's all Greek to me. Salami! Aw, oh, we can't harvest some salami. Damn. <laughs> Nausicaa in the Valley of the Wind! I love that movie. It's got great world building. Survey. Some gas. Proteus. Some gas. Oxygen. Cool. Pharos. This 
pretty serious. Nothing on salami. I hear you two typing to each other, by the way. Bosco's typing to someone else, not me. Okay. Yeah, it's not, I'm not typing Arkov. And if Arkov is typing, it certainly isn't to me. <laughs> Can I just say I love those avatars? Bracky made them. Bracky did make them. Also made one for himself of a uh, Quarian. Army. Nope. Trust me, Monty. Moscow wouldn't. We in Moscow wouldn't have to type to each other. We'd just play the noun <gasps> game and confuse Therum. you. Theorem. Oh yeah, we talking code. We oh yeah, Theorem. Distant rich worlds. This oh, is actually go. a really fun mission. Let's go. Oh. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, cool, let's go. Mako time! Boy, I love how they just drop the vehicle. Yeah, you have jets. You do have jets. Why don't the jets work dang. so well when I am on, like, the ground? Because they're on cooldown from landing. Strange readings. Really strange, like off the damn charts. It looks like it's coming from an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone. Zero. No, just the yeah. seed. It's linear. You're good. Gotcha. I might get rid of it. Here we go. Hey, ooh, ah, ooh. So remember when so we said there was no environmental damage? Oh. Yeah, that doesn't include that. Yeah. You can drink There may lava. be some exceptions to that. One. Yeah. W intense weather conditions or intense environmental stuff like lava will absolutely mess you up, but it pretty much you'll know like you don't drive on lava that's pretty much a given you don't if you're drive in really on cool lava environments it'll powered. let you know if there's any environmental damage so it, the game does a pretty good job of letting you know i love it this game well lava is an exception to many rules it, that is true <laughs> <laughs> I remember one time I was bouncing around this planet and I, I jumped right into the fucking lava. Monty. Fuck you, robot horses. You don't even My favorite thing head. to do is just run them over and shoot them until they stop pooping. Basically. Hey, you got meta gel too. Nice. And you got 100 bits from Protoss 103 saying, hey, Monty Bosco and Arkov. How are you guys doing? Also, never forget Jenkins, Monty. Forget Jenkins. Yeah! Guys. Let's go. Funny thing is, I looked through your comments on YouTube for the Mass Effect uploads, and they are mourning Jenkins' loss. They really are. What, I love it. What the fuck was that? I'm going to save. Yeah, you're like, what? Bleep? Huh? Bloop? My game, like, flickered for a quick second. Oh, yeah, I gave you a I tutorial like you... that you sped through. Oh, yeah. Of nap back in the mouth. We should sneak around and pull its tail. Dodge! There's actually a good chance to practice the, the jump dodge. Yeah, you gotta practice. Yep, because you could jump over those. Whee! Yep. They yep, are another literally one. nothing. Yep. And then they shot over, and then you just gotta, ooh. Whoa! Good job. So keep shooting. There you go. I did it. I leveled hey, up. Hey, level up. You should level in. your person up. Maybe you should level up your electronics. Ah! What the? We're fine. It's impossible to flip the Mako. How do I? It is not like a warthog. Uh, so Rex did Rex, say going Rex, in the front was a bad idea. Yeah, Rex gave you a hint. So if you look to the no, 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 Monty, look to the right. No. No. It doesn't want you to go that way. It wants you to back up a little it bit. It wants you, but there's a path back there, so you have to go the other way and go around. No! Shush! I will oh. apply my <laughs> abilities here. I think there's an invisible wall there. There is. It's like Halo with the tank, Monty. Yep. Has that stopped me before? Yes. Yes. 
I remember you being sad when I did. <laughs> I like how she, I like how she just stopped driving and was like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Here, you see that metal back there? Take a left there. house we respect you we just are trying to guide you to where you're supposed to be i like to imagine when i shoot my main gun that's got like the bullets it's just a bunch of little hamsters playing on drums <laughs> like listen Ooh, she jumped yeah. into both Would you like the Mako now? I did it! I Good job, Monty. Oh, are you sure? Jump! Mo All right. Not <laughs> <laughs> you fucking told me to jump and I did it! it yeah, so but delayed. not... <laughs> it was so delayed. Like, where are we going? Oh, Monty, what are we doing? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you get out of the Mako when you go inside the building. We should investigate. There are doorways Q. to explore. Yeah. We're going up, yes, Jack. It's like we're watching an old Speedy There's Gonzales cartoon. There's a button. Yes. Why am I not wearing a helmet? This is unsafe. You, you can actually toggle atmosphere. your helmet. There's a button for it in your. In Whoa! Your, in your, Whoa! Oh, oh, Jesus what? Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. Also, <laughs> I would recommend in the future when you're dealing with the Geth, Tali is very helpful to have. Ooh. Done. Oh, okay. It said something there, but I missed it. It also, said we, gate control. Also, we have a, a Smash Brothers shield there. Yes. Let's look at the fucking run animation. Hell yeah. Jack says, good job stopping that rocket with your teeth. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Hold on, I'm not a fool. It's very American of you, Monty. Wait, nothing is in here. God damn it. <laughs> Thank God, there's. Was there a run button the whole time? Yes. You actually already knew about it. You've been running since yeah, the used episode it zero. Did I? You yeah. did. Ooh, let me in. What do you have, Arkov's memory now? No one has my memory. No one cool. should suffer so. Look at all this. So keep in mind, you can equip all this new stuff that you're getting, and either sell the old stuff or turn it into Omni Gel so that you can repair your makeup. Ugh, I do not like the run wobble. It's pretty oh, rough. in terms. Yeah. Because, yeah, I might have to be careful with that one. So is it? Is it? I know the motion sickness thing is a first-person thing. Even zoomed out in third person, Ooh, if it wobbles up. too. Much. Oh, yep. We're good. Hey, got him. Nice headshot. Thank you. Sorry, you were saying. <laughs> I was saying, does the wobble even in third person get you? Is it just the movement yeah, of the camera? Yeah, when I was playing a. Damn it. When I was playing a. Um, Devil May Cry, there was like this water wobble effect that made me very ill. It's a lot of like bobbing and moving quite a bit. Open. I don't remember the wobble being that bad. Another 100 bits from Putas 103 saying, like to imagine Bosco and Oracle for on the ship talking to Monty. Like you guys are like my comms officers trying to help me. All right, I think I looked at everything. Oh no, there's another thing over here. Blah. Yeah, I might end up just like jogging lately like this. I apologize if that That's frustrates fine. anybody, but it might make it so I don't vom. Ooh, upgrade. Go your own pace. Sick, let's go. Nope, no, incorrect. Put away. Put that away. There we go. 
Maintaining the sequence of Hello? doing that every episode. Hello? What's wrong? I, there was like a wall there. I don't know what happened. <laughs> oh. Once you get back in the Mako, you may want to check your map to determine which way to go. Oh, we're going this way. I remember way. the first time I played this, I went the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, we're going this way. Alright, let's ride. You getting the hang of this? Hell yeah. yeah. It does just take a while, and then eventually it becomes muscle memory. Oh, well, there they go. That thing absolutely did not fly overhead. That sound should not have happened, and I don't know why it just kind of set itself down in the distance. Anyway, I'm gonna die. Ooh, good dodge. Yep, just run him over. Good job! There you go. You're getting shot from the right. Luckily, when you run over the smaller cat, they just fucking they die. They just explode. Oh, no, not good. Yeah, that's gonna knock out your shields and then it gets down to your health because your shields will recharge. See how your shields recharge if you don't take any damage? Oh, god damn it. Yeah, that's all right. You're still not down to your health yet. We did it. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Little victory. 100 gets from Dark Star Dara. Damn it, Monty, yeah. now I can't use the Kia hamsters furiously drumming while the Mako fires. Yeah, look, look, just imagine little hamsters. There's like 50 of them drumming. No. I refuse. Find these Hamtaro. Hold on, wait. Oh, God. Dude, I love Hamtaro. I have to tell you guys a story about how I lied to get a Hamtaro poster in school. In my Catholic school. Why? Was it banned in school? No, okay. Let me tell you the tale of the Hamtaro poster. So, when I was in, I think, third grade, I went to private school, a private Catholic school. That was actually, like, pretty great. They were a very, very positive Catholic school, which, you know, is a very, you know, for a lot of people, is a very rarity. I was pretty lucky. Um, but one of the things is when I was in third grade, they realized that I would get my lowercase b's and d's confused constantly. Like, they knew I was a smart child, they just, there was a visual, like, I wouldn't call it dyslexia, because dy dyslexia is its own thing, but it was like, there was clearly some sort of problem there, and they were like, oh, this kid is having difficulties with, like, q's, p's, b's, and, and d's. There's clearly an issue here. We should take her aside and put her into, like, basically, it's called, um, I think it's called like special needs or, or not special needs. Um, oh god, there's a term. There was there was a term for it. It was like a it was a learning assistance. Video. It was learning assistance is what they called it. So basically, it was like for kids who had you know certain struggles with learning and needed just a little bit of extra specific help for specific things. So that way they could keep pace with all the other kids. So during, um, for a little while during my time in third grade, they'd have to take me out. And this wasn't just for that, it was also because like I transferred in mid-season as well, so I had a lot of catch-up to do. But um, they would take me in and they specifically had me go through exercises to make sure that my B's and D's were like, you know, all good to go. And so they had a system there though, where every day when you were a good kid, you got a star. Like, if you behaved well, if you were, you were, you know, engaged with the teacher and whatnot, you'd get a star, and you would... 
fuck you. Um, sorry, I got distracted. And you would basically, if you got a certain amount of stars, you would get a prize. And one of those prizes was a jammed. Why am I jammed? That means because there's an enemy blocking your radar. Your, yeah, you're dealing with synthetics. I'll They're gonna jam. The radar. So, Whoa. um. At least buy me dinner first. What? I said at least buy me dinner first. Oh yeah, this is the fucking battlefield I've ever seen. Over there. <laughs> gave it away. As a sniper away shot goes walls. through. Generally, with your sniper, it's going to be the very tip of that bottom arrow. That's where you're going. Correct. You were aiming a little bit low. Okay, gotcha. Should be off of this wall. You can get to that wall, though. And then, if you want, you can pop out and shoot. You see the tip of that bottom arrow? It's bit, yeah. The very tip of that is where your shot actually goes. Yes. Correct. Because that basically leads you to the center of the shot. Yeah, he's just hiding. You'll have he's to hiding. So you're gonna have there. to either you can throw a grenade. You can also use your powers. That'll nice work. shot. If it gives you that Garrett. icon, you can use your powers. Garrett, God damn it, you son of a bitch! You silly. You hey. Just you. Hey. Clearly, he thinks your weapon needs calibration. <laughs> I noticed. Jack wants to know how you're finding that rifle. He's a big fan. Whoop, 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 whoop. Got him. Nice. Um, back to the Hantara poster. Also, I love the rifle. It's very good. I'm glad I went sniper for this. Let me let me just finish the story standing here. So basically, I, I had to go to, like, learning assistance because I would get my B's and D's and my P's and my Q's confused in grade three. And they were like, they were like, oh, we want to help out this child. And also she transferred to our school, so she's going to be a little bit more behind than the other kids. And so they had a system where, like, every day if you were a good kid, you'd get a star. And then you got, I think, like, five stars i think you got a prize and they had a wall that was just a bunch of different things you could choose from and they ranged from like you know little toys but they had a hamtaro poster and at that time i was obsessed with hamtaro i loved hamtaro because i was like right when it came out and i was like oh my god i need this hamtaro poster so by day two i can't remember like the timing and it was a long time ago but i think by like day two i was getting better like they had me go through these exercises i was getting them less confused and then they were like, oh, you should do maybe one more day and you'll be done. And I'm like, shit, if I go now, I won't get my Hamtaro poster. And so the third day, oh, oh, gee, oh, I don't know what's wrong. Suddenly I'm, I'm so much worse at this. Oh, maybe I need a few more days. So I literally, like, pretended <laughs> that I was shittier to stay an extra few days so I could get my Hamtaro poster. I had that thing on my wall for, like, three years until I moved as a kid. Take him out! I can respect that. Charging up. Yeah. Oh my god. Where's the last one? Oh, we got power. There we go. I see. Not now, Shepard. Well, I'm trying, I'm pressing the space bar because it does help me. Still one more enemy by the red dot. Yeah, if you look just at your. There and take care of him. Yeah, you can switch to your shotgun or your pistol or something. Because oh, where you get this? It's a little bit harder to shoot when he gets. Yep, because he's gonna strafe. Pistol. Him. It's up oh, there. He is. <laughs> You're like I refused. I'm a sniper. This 
Jackson. I invested in this sniper rip roll. Yeah, but you're you're uh there you go, good shot. Your mm -hmm. uh your pistol? Your pistol's still pretty good because you had to level it up to get your sniper. Yep. Oh, that's right. And at, cl at close range, it will be easier. That reminds me, I should probably level up my skills. You, you should. You did level should, up. Yes. Probably save too. That you get yes, more electronic skills so you can open shit. Maybe. All right, squad. Me. What did I... oh, you I could also go for points. more charm. I can go for more intimidate and charm. Uh, let's go. Let's do a nice like. Let's do a little spread here. Let's put. One so I would do that. yes, I would do that because you need that. Two into here. I can I make a recommendation, Monty? Yes. So, very rarely will you need intimidate, so it can be one of the last things you invest in. Okay. I, I mean, to, you could grab motivated by. I want to buy one yeah. of those, and then. Unlock dampening would be very helpful. Because the more higher your electronics is, the better you repair the Mako and the better your it shields also, are. Yeah, not only that, right. but it also means that you don't have to rely on taking Tali as much if you up that. I like Tali. I like Tali too, and because I was a soldier, I could replace her with Rex and I didn't lose a lot. This music is so jamming Rex. though. Isn't it? Dude, the Mass Effect sound soundtrack is so good. Also, a lot of people are like, wow, Monty's sniping is so good. It's like your TF2 training. He's like, I played Engineer and Pyro, but I did use Flare Gun. So yeah, my shots were pretty good on... on also, I hate to be the spoiler of bad news, but Mass Effect is not a hard shooter game. Oh, that's cool, though. It's cool, but it's going to mess you up. Those things fucking suck. Yeah. Hey, remember these things? Now you have to fight them on the ground. Oh. Have fun. Good luck. Shit. You might want to hide. Yep, yep, yep. Fuck. Remember, you have powers one and two. Oh, Jesus. Okay, that's a good pass. I oh. like. Oh, yeah. Be careful. Okay. Instant death. Instant death. That's. Yeah, that hurts. You are not a soldier. You cannot take those hits. Oh, the spider things are weird. Yeah, it's right above you. Why is my two button not working? Ow! Because it requires they have a weapon that you can actually jam. Yes. That, that being said, you did just get a new power that I think would work on them. Well, I got a gun. That also works pretty well. That is good if they work on it. Hey, Rex, you're gonna hit quite a bit. Ow, what the fuck, dude? Oh, God. This is. Oh, Rex is fucking dead. Wow, yep. okay. Yep. I think it's time to open the tactical menu. That allow you to sort of pause things and get an idea of what's going on around you. Correct. It also allows I, you to use powers like revive. How do I do that? Tab, I think. Wow, Garrus is immediately dead. Good job, Garrus. Yep. Oh, the time was died. So keep in mind, yeah, you're gonna want to fall back. They're they're jumping towards you, so you have to cover Rex. They're gonna push. <laughs> Yep, yeah, you got that guy up there. Why is my... Oh, my God. Okay. How do I do... You need this tab? Okay, press one. I don't know what that was going to do. That was your... Your... Your, uh... Hacking power. Yeah, one is your shield overload. Two is your weapon jammer. Yeah. So that'll knock out their shields, and then you can shoot them. Two is going to hack their weapon, I believe. That works. Nice shot. Fuck you. Get people. 
people down, you can go revive Garrus. Oh my god, Rex. Yep. Oh, you got him. Oh, good he's job, doing, Rex. He's doing work. Yeah, so if you want to go revive Garrus, then you That, okay, sick. Yeah, we're still in the thick of it right I'm now. Okay, okay. Oh, he's okay. Oh, he's back. He's back. Let's see how long he lasts. They'll revive automatically if you kill enough enemies, too. Is it just that thing now? Oh, right uh, I know there's too. a couple more guys in the back. There's one in the watchtower. Yep. And then there's another guy behind the barricade. Yep. Now that big guy. Nice. Thankfully, it's shooting at Garrus. Your shield breaking power may be useful. Hey. Yep. I see how much health it has. That's because you're not close enough to see its health. Correct. Let's fucking die. <laughs> I think I have unlimited ammo. Yeah. <laughs> Got it? There you go. Holy shit, we did there it, everybody. Go. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh. You keep getting my boy killed. Does Tab open your tactical menu? Or is there another button that does that? Garrus, wait. I will check. How do I... How do you I... have a Spectre-specific revive power in your tactical menu, that's why I'm wondering. How do I get into that menu? Is it tab? Nope. Uh... I'm checking right now, Arkov. I got you. Here Take we go. Off. Mass Effect. So, on the keyboard, what are you looking for them to do? The tactical menu. Uh, tactical HUD is hold space bar. Very bad. That did not, it's not doing anything. Okay. Uh, tactical powers, uh, Shift? it says hold space oh, bar. Oh, here we go. Yeah, there you go. How do I... It's on your power bar down at the bottom. The one that has three people icons. Yeah, that one. That's recover. So I would, yeah, I would map that to Put a... Put that on eight or something. Yeah, put it at the end. Because you won't use it a ton. And then you can also put your other power that you have on there, too. I put it at three. There we go. He's fine. So, yeah, if you go back and hit your space bar, Monty, you have your power to map it, too. We're not yeah, done. For ship. Oh, there you go. Your assassination power will generally make your shots hit harder. Gotcha. Correct. Are we good? Looks like there's one more enemy on your radar. See the red? Yeah. Ah! Jesus! Nice shot! Ooh, they got... Garrus got him. Good job, Garrus. And I believe to heal your party normally when their health is low, it's V on the keyboard. Is it V? Medigel deployed. Yep, uh -huh. There you go. Heals you too. Cool. Good to know. That's very good to know. So what was the point of all this? There's an elevator to your right. Yep. You get to go there. Oh. That's why I said this level is cool, because you get to fight all the way here, and then this is a cool section of it. Yeah, this is really neat. Yeah. Let me in! Let me eat all your Prothean technology. Uh... What if I just eat the Geth? I mean... And there are people that eat light bulbs. What? Yeah, legitimately, there are people that eat light bulbs. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god. Fuck you, dude! <laughs> Dear Lord! Nice. Jesus. 
So again, when they're that close, it will work better, but... Got him. There you go. Hey, look, you can blow that up. Oh, I wouldn't up recommend it. <laughs> Are they mining here? What is going on? That's very possibly what they could be doing. This does look like some kind of underground facility. Well. Secret tunnel! I've never visited a Prothean ruin before. Aside from the Citadel. You remember why you're here, Monty? It is Prothean technology. I'm here to eat it. No. <laughs> Do you remember the mission? No. Not at all. <laughs> What's there to know about, about bang, shoot, kill, murder? Pretty you are here to you pick up a new here. potential party member. Yeah, Wait, remember Liara? this is where I need to be? Yes. yes. Oh, cool. But that is not... Why would you... That's a... You I were know, at you the button. I'm so confused. I wanted you to see. You are here specifically to find the daughter of Matriarch Vanesca. That's yes. right. The woman in that recording was Saren. Right. Everyone get in here. Come on. Group up. Buddy system. How's everyone feeling about the mission so far? I'm doing well, if you can remember what it is. And if you can't remember what it is, that's what we're here for. So if the Geth themselves are like people, does that make their assault drones like dogs? Are you killing the Geth's dogs? Or like their their mine canaries. Sterile life. Protheans sure build things homey. Shit, <laughs> way. Command. Anyone got any jokes or no? Alright, cool. Uh, I can't be good. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Arkov! Oh, can't that's... be the same person, Arkov. Stop that. That's a fucking battle arena. You're in the blue zone. Can you hear me out there? I'm trapped. I need help. Liara to Sony, I presume? Thank the goddess. I did not think anyone would come looking for me. Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, all right? Well, before we let you out. How did you end up in there? I was exploring the ruins when the Geth showed up, so I hid in here. Can you believe that? Geth, beyond the veil! I activated the tower's defenses. I knew the barrier curtains would keep them out. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. This is a new voice I effect. In here. You must get me out, It's a please. very different voice effect. Your mother is working with Saren. Whose side are you on? What? I am not on anybody's side. I may be Venezia's daughter, but I'm nothing like her. I have not spoken to her in years. Please, just get me out of here. All right, we'll get you just out. Just need to figure some way past this energy field. It's a Prothean barrier curtain. I knew it would keep me safe from the Geth. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. Any suggestions on how we can help? There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Mm. I be can eat careful. it. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past oh, the barrier. Oh, shit. There's You've a got a Krogan, too, so what are you worried about? Alright. Yeah, we, <laughs> we have a Krogan. Cool, so do we. They have a Krogan. We have a Krogan. Wait, that doesn't work as well. Ow. There's actually a fun thing about this mission. And since you came here first, I can tell it to you. If you save her for last, 
She is delirious from hunger and thirst when you find her. Yep. Really? Yeah. She's so the longer out of her mind. Wait. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah. Your choices have consequences. On the ledge, Monty. You just saw him. I know. I know. On the I'm bridge. Yeah. Like how they peeked out. Aim at them. Yeah. Slightly in the wrong place. Yeah. I'm just gonna move forward. That. That. That looks like a electronic device. Monty, please. Monty, please. What? What? <laughs> you got him. Yeah, we shot him. He's good. Why are you freaking out? I thought the first shot missed, and then I realized it hit a shield. Too. You should Excellent. not have shown me your head. I like these guys. They look so cool. Mm. Yeth are awesome. Ooh, I'm telling you, if I ever get the chance, I'm going to run a Mass Effect thing. And I'm going to call Arkov first. Please do. I would be immensely interested. No, fuck. It's so sensitive. It is. It gets harder. Fuck oh me. boy. Fuck. Okay, hold on. No, no, no. Fuck! You can't get in there now. You have to get Omni Gel. If you break down items in your inventory, you can get more yeah. Omni Gel. Oh, damn, okay. This game is as much inventory management as it is actual combat. Ooh. Oh, that's the same one I'm using. Alright. Mm -hmm. Should I give. Actually, I should give this to Garrus then. Oh, no. This is also good. Yeah, always make certain to equip your allies. Like Rex is pistols and shotguns. Yeah, Garrus right. is assault rifles and snipers. Actually, no, Garrus is pistols and snipers. Can, can I just quick convert all junk? Yes. There's a game that's like the Resident Evil 4, uh, like inventory management, but it's a game. Oh, that sniper was actually better than the one you have equipped. Oh, god damn it! Well, it's all right. You'll get another one. All right. Let's that's try why this. it's important to look at the stats before you delete stuff, just to see if you want to use it. Oh, did it reset? Oh, it reset. It reset. All right, got another chance at it. All right, give it a shot. Yeah. <gasps> there you go. <laughs> I didn't realize it could reset. I thought it just locked you out. Did I? Huh. That kind of makes it pointless to use Omni Gel if it does that? I mean, you can use Omni Gel if you're lazy like I am. Sick. I needed it for the Mako. Where am I? I didn't get hit in the Mako, so I didn't have to worry about it. No, oh, I would get hit if I was in too big of a swarm. So we fought them all. Backpack here, backpack hero. I know that item you were shooting earlier said mining laser. Yeah, I think oh. you have to punch through, play. yeah. Uh huh? I think you have to find an override sequence somewhere. Yeah, you have to. Oh, okay. You have to guess. Well, no, I think you can just find it somewhere. That, that, that. 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 No. That. 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 Fuck! Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Way too loud! Hey, it worked! Hey, I made a door! Yeah. Now you're underneath. God, it's like the bottom of a swimming pool. Wait, but what if it traps you? That's fine. We're fine. 
Where's the Krogan, though? Right behind Standing you? Standing right behind you. Yeah. Well, the, uh, the evil one. The one oh, that's not I don't know. Was a, don't, don't worry about it. Alignment. I'm sure fine. How did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. A big fucking laser. You blasted through with the mining laser. Of course. Yes, that makes sense. Please, get me out of here before more Geth arrive. That button over there should shut down this containment field. Your shoulder thing is just a bunch of smash keyboard letters. Boop! I like how we can just use Prothean technology. <gasps> oh, your technology that was a Star is based Wars on it. That was a Star Wars sound, because that's all Any over fucking coach place? work. There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on. I, I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia is involved? Saren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. Obviously, he wants you to help him find it. The conduit? But I don't know. What the hell was that? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Joker, get the Norm of the Airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister! Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA, eight minutes. If I die in here, I'll kill him. <laughs> I love Rex. He's great. I, I say that shit all the time. Like, if you get me killed, I will kill you. Oh, shit. Oh, there's the Krogan. Hey, look who it is. In case you didn't notice, this place is falling apart. Exhilarating, isn't it? Thanks for getting rid of those energy fields for us. Hand the doctor over. Whatever it is you want, you are not getting it from me. She'll stay with us, thanks. Not an option. Saren wants her, and he always gets what he wants. Kill them. Spare the Asari if you can. Not doesn't matter. Oh, he's got magic. Krogans. Do I? That was never told. I explained that last time. Yeah. On your left. Oh my Major god. Heal. Yeah, yeah, I don't have any to heal with. Dude, it's me. Is he dead? Did I kill him? You did. When it comes to Krogans, you have to double tap because they regenerate like a motherfucker. Gotcha. The nasty thing is, unless your weapon's really powerful, you have to wait for the regeneration to finish. We did it! Yay! Oh, that's not good.
That's the gun. We made it out. Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds, we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for I future reference. That. We almost died out there, and your pilot is making jokes. <laughs> you jerk. It is tension. <laughs> it's a coping mechanism. You'll get used to it. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. I mean, dealing but with. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there, and not just from the volcano. Those Geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. Holy shit! Just how old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. Damn! I hope I look that good when I'm your age. A century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours, but among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. Did your research turn up anything interesting? What is interesting is what I did not turn up. There is remarkably little archaeological evidence of the Protheans, and even less that might explain why they disappeared. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. Where'd you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. Why do my I arms look fucking weird? For 50 years. <laughs> I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. Look at my arms! It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. It is more a feeling derived from a half century of dedicated research. But I know I'm right, and eventually I will be able to prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. Who came before them? If the Protheans weren't the first, then who was? Like, look, I my arm know. is way longer on one side. There's barely any evidence on the Protheans, even less on those who came before them. I cannot prove my theory, but I know I am right. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines, the Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. Still trying to sort out what it all means. Apparently broke my arms too. Visions. Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong. Yeah, I'm user. just kind of a this cool isn't helping person. Us find Saren or the condom. Shut up, she's complimenting me. Of course, you're right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the conduit or Saren. What good are you then? You saw I don't fun. know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think don't of any way safer me. than here on your ship. Don't touch and me! My knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. And her biotics will come in handy when the fighting starts. Great, another alien. Welcome aboard. Good to have you on the team, Liara. 
Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? That's all for now. Go see the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Uh... I mean, they are your bosses. Yeah. Patch them through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. I love, We've man, I... Report, mm. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I Arkov, assume you know. you're taking the necessary mm -hmm. security precautions. Liara is on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? The Geth were crawling all over those ruins. We were lucky to make it out alive. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Good luck, Commander. Remember, we are all counting on you. I love Looted. the disconnect option. I pick that so many times. Oh, did you just to say like "fuck you guys"? Bye. I, well, because like I, I hated the way that they treated humans, so I was always very antagonistic with them. So they would talk shit to me, and I just cut them off. I'd be like, "Joker, cut the feed." Yeah. Jeez. Like that time Brian cut Kel off mid sending. Yep. Wasn't that great? Actually, head downstairs if you want to talk to Liara or any oh, of the shit. others. Oh shit! You're right. I should probably do that. No. Fuck. How do I go back to Normandy? Uh, get escape. Escape? 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 Escape. Escape. Sup, gentlemen? I love I love our meeting room with the with the chairs. It's very fun. Gentileman. Mm -hmm. Mental gen. Mental gine. <laughs> the music does that a lot. I bet she's with the doctor. She's not with the doctor. Might be in the room beyond the doctor. Oh, you yeah, should she also is. probably save. I did. Alrighty. I'll save again though. When you say to save, that concerns me greatly. Well, no, I'm just. I just didn't realize the last time you had saved. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth Commander. If you hadn't shown up, I... I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. But I am not like Benezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. I know. Don't worry, Liara. I trust you. I know you won't let me down. It means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. Thank you. I'd like to talk about you? Wait, wait. She's a romance option, isn't she? She is. Shit. This is dangerous grounds we're walking on now, gentlemen. You can always yeah, shoot her down careful. later. That's if awkward, you do though. To get in, if you do happen to get into an option where she is romantically interested in you, you can always let her down gently. Does it show you, like, when you're picking the, the romantic? Nope. Oh, no, God. you just, it basically, you have to infer based on the dialogue that you're going down that path. I'm assuming this is, is hey, baby, how's it going? I don't actually remember if that starts it, but it's a good assumption. Do you know why Benezia joined up with Saren? I don't understand it. She was always outspoken about the need for the Asari to become more involved in shaping galactic events. Maybe she thought allying herself with Saren would somehow be for the greater good in the long run. At least I hope so. This hurts you, doesn't it? None of this makes any sense to me. I have not spoken to Benezia in many years, but I know her. And this was not like her. Something changed. I'd like to know more about the Asari. We were the first species to discover the Citadel. We were instrumental in forming the Council, and we always strive to be the voice of 
peaceful cooperation in galactic disputes. My people believe we are all part of a single galactic community. Each species contributes something to the greater whole. Although we seek to understand other species, it seems few of them seek to understand us. The galaxy is filled with rumors and misinformation about my people. Like what? Most of the inaccuracies are centered around our mating rituals. My species is monogendered. Male oh, okay, and so they're... have no real meaning for us. We still require a partner to reproduce. This second parent, however, may be of any species and any gender. That's disgusting! Tell me more! <laughs> I don't understand. Your species can mate with anyone? Mating is not quite the proper term. Not as you understand it. Physical contact may or may not be involved. But it is not an essential element of the Oh, world. okay, interesting. The true connection is mental. Our physiology allows us to meld with other beings. We can touch the very depths of their minds. We explore the genetic memory of their species. We share the most basic elements of their individual and racial identities. Huh. We then pass these traits onto our daughters. It is how we learn to grow as a species and how we That's cool though. A I, I find that really interesting. <laughs> what happens to your partner after the union? Every relationship is different. Some unions are a single encounter with both parents parting hmm. ways afterwards. Others can be more long term. Sometimes an Asari and her partner will stay together for many decades. What about- Oh, God! I'm, I'm curious about both of these. You can do both. You can do both. What about the age you difference? Asari lived for a thousand years. What happens when your partner dies? Few sapient species live as long as my kind. We have learned to take a philosophical approach to our unions. We do not focus on the inevitable loss of our partners. Aw, that's Instead, very we sweet. Instead, we the time we spend with them. And even after they're gone, a part of them lives on in us. The union is a connection that transcends both time and space. Who's your father? Do you know who Matriarch Venezia chose as her partner? She rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know my father, if you want to use that term, was another Asari. You can do that? <laughs> Lesbians? Question mark? <laughs> Lesbani? Her partner's name. Union with our own kind is no longer common. Not for the purposes of reproduction. Most Asari believe it weakens our species. <laughs> the lesbians are not weak. Asari daughters inherit racial traits from the father species. If both parents are Asari, then nothing has been gained. Or so conventional wisdom would hold. I am what is sometimes called a pure blood, though no Asari would ever be cruel enough to say the word to my face. This is a great insult. That's interesting. It is possible Benezia's partner was embarrassed by their union. She may have been too ashamed to publicly acknowledge me as her offspring. So actually being like formed by two Asari is like considered a taboo. It's actually, well not taboo, but it's like considered mm -hmm. not as like, it's not. It's not seen as beneficial, and it's yeah, that's down wild. Upon. That's because usually in like most media, it would be the opposite. Would be the thing that would be bad. Like most media focuses on pure bloods and how they're supposedly better than everyone else. In this case, it's the it's opposite. Seen as derogatory. That's cool. I kind of love that. That's really really neat. That's terrible. Could anyone abandon their own child? I cannot answer that. This is all speculation on my part. It is possible she wanted to be part of my life, but something happened to her before she had the chance. Benezia never spoke of her partner. Whatever happened, it caused her too much pain to dwell on it. She raised me by herself, though that is not uncommon. Hmm. Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species is short-lived. Often the partner will pass on long before the child reaches maturity. Like imagine if the father is a Salarian who only lived 40 years. Yeah. That, dude, that explains the, the, the escort place and like the fact that... Mm -hmm. Cause they have that stage so, where they're like, we want to have children now. <laughs> and it's like, oh God. Yeah. And it's a very different culture than what humans are used to. So you're oh, like, ah, yeah. please don't touch me. And they're like, but this is normal. But this is normal. It's like. So you have three stages. I should go. The if early I'm stage where they explore the universe to find themselves. The stage where they settle down to have offspring. And then the matriarch stage where they serve as advisors to their people. Hmm. 
So basically, first I'm gonna learn about the world, then I'm gonna fuck, then I'm gonna rule, then I'm gonna rock, then I'm gonna roll, then I'm gonna pop, go and let it go. First I will learn the world, then I will make then the world. Then I will fuck it. And oh, then I will yeah, ruin okay. the world. Hold on, not all of them will ruin the world, just Venezia. Sure, there we go. I'm trying to think if we should end here, or should we, we should keep going, because we have 20 minutes left. We have to, uh, so what pretty you much do everything you, you do in this is long. Yeah. So what I would say is you could go to some more side quests. We could. Yeah, yeah, you could go to you could do side quests on planets and stuff like that. We should go talk to the guy who we found the distress beacon at. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Mokahoku. You could do that. Yep. Yeah. You can also find more keepers for your totally not illegal scanning it's job. It's fine. It's totally fine. Don't talk about it. Talk about it. Scape. Where is there's the citadel? Let's go. Let's go to the citadel. New. Yeah, shoot me in your space gun. Message like coming in. Man. Oh. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, my name is Nasana Dantius. I have a job for you. I can't say anymore in an unsecured communication. If you're interested in hearing my offer, meet me on the Citadel so we can talk in person. Mm. I'll be waiting in the diplomat's lounge on the Presidium. Ooh. Okay. So, there you go. I like how the mass relays all look like tuning forks. Yeah, a little bit, <laughs> yeah. I'd say that was productive. We got it. We got another party member. I yeah, thought a space and worm, now we can just like a brave yeah, honestly, soldier of space. Now, so what I will tell you is that there will be planets where it's like this is story planet. This is going to take a large chunk of time. So you could probably do one of those every session if you wanted to, and then fill the rest out with side quests. Or how do I leave? You could how do you head towards oh, Joker to... and take a left. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then that'll let you go to the dock. Mm -hmm. Decontamination in progress. Although I'm sad because the game loads so fast now, it doesn't do it all the way through even. Yeah, it oh, doesn't say it eight times. Do we have everybody now? Not yeah. everybody. Well, there's no more spaces on this screen, so. You don't have everybody. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior You atmosphere. have everybody for this game. Logged. The about commanding to say. officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. There is one character. Oh, there he is. That's not the yep. one. Rear That's a different Captain. admiral. I hail Vic, fifth fleet. Commander Shepard, SSV Normandy. You don't know who I am, do you, Commander? I command the 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. I think this is Udina's voice the actor. Got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever. They got them on our ship and you. I still serve the Alliance, sir. As a Spectre, I can advance our interests to the Council. Do you still know what color your blood is, Shepard? I don't begrudge the politician's decision to throw you to the council. It's an opportunity. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin, though. That's all my ship. The Normandy is a fine <laughs> ship, sir. She's served us well so far. It's a gimmick, Commander. Useless in a stand-up fight. This experiment diverted billions from our appropriations bills for the same price we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no, we had to make nice to the Turians, throw money at a co-developed boondoggle. I'm here to make an inspection, Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. I'm sure you'll find everything in order, Admiral. I'll just bet. Wait here, I won't be long. Why is he? I don't trust him. This is a different Admiral Commander, entirely. I'm not happy. Yes. What did you find out of order? Who designed that CIC? Putting the commander aft of everyone else is inefficient. What if he needs to discuss with the operators toward the bow? Modified Turian style. They prefer commanders looking over their subordinates rather than in the middle of them. We wanted to see how effectively they can command with that setup. Hmm. Reasonable goal, but they should have studied that in a lab rather than on a frontline warship. I had to shake my head at that drive core of yours. 120 billion credits of element zero to make this thing able to move without giving itself away. 
you realize we could make drive cores for 12,000 fighters with that money? What good is it to hide for a few hours anyway? Useless. We can loiter in an enemy system and monitor traffic or drop infiltration teams on enemy worlds. Normandy could be more effective than the Solar Yeah, take my charm, you fucker. Maybe, maybe. But that's not the job of a proper warship. Have We're you seen an F-22 Raptor, motherfucker? Right? Times but it's cool, the though! And we need to talk about your crew, Commander. Don't make fun of my crew. Krogan? Asari? Turians? What are you thinking, Commander? I like how you Turians are the greatest threat. Free access to alliance Fucking first contact war. Between Saren and the Geth, we have enough enemies out here. Treating other species with suspicion and distrust won't win hearts and minds. That assumes the hearts and minds are worth winning. That hasn't been proven yet. Do you have anything else to say, Commander? Any other justifications for the state of this vessel? We need to kick ass. None, sir. Very well. I don't agree with any of this, but your reasons seem sound. I'll be submitting a report to the Joint Military Council. It will not be as negative as I planned. What do you mean you planned? Good hunting, Commander Shepard. Make us proud. Man, fuck you that guy. You basically came here with the idea to shit on it, and Why you just convinced him otherwise. The ship is okay. It's very cool. In breaking news, yeah, the Chairman Burns of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies has been kidnapped by biotic extremists. Oh, shit. The biotics commandeered a freighter and were last seen in the Hades Gamma Cluster. No demands Remember have that yet been made. Email? Hmm. How you guys doing? I love that they gave you a story relevant thing in the loading screen. It's just, I love this game. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. I know who this is. I'm avoiding her. No, what? talk to her. It's the reporter what? woman, isn't it? Talk to her, yes. I don't want to talk to the reporter woman. Why? Save. Save. You should do it, Monty. It's, it's content. Your chat will enjoy it. Police have been seen yeah. in Al Jalani, Westernland News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? What sort of questions? People back home have heard a lot of wild stories about you, Commander. I can give you the chance to set the record straight. What do you say? So long as you understand that I may not be able to answer all questions. I'm sure our viewers will understand. Cute robot. Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? The specters represent the best of every species in the galaxy. To be asked to join them is an honor. Some have said your appointment is the Citadel throwing humans a bone. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? The Council is concerned with the needs of the whole galactic community. We're part of that community now. Our needs are on their agenda, but we're one of many. You really do believe that, don't you? You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? Turin's help Actually, the Normandy was co-developed by human and Turian engineers. Its design incorporates many innovations, all of which are classified, I'm afraid. So the Turians have knowledge of the Normandy that is being kept secret from the Alliance public? Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? I wasn't aware it had been handed over to anyone. I'm in command, and last I checked, I'm human. Same goes for my crew. Human, yes, but you do work for the Citadel now, Commander. One last question, Commander. Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? Mm -hmm. I cannot confirm or deny that. I remember that. what I picked. I, I cannot confirm or deny that. It's time to shut you, you can up. You pick whatever. I mean... I'm afraid I can't comment on whatever my current assignment may or may not be. Don't worry, we'll find out. The eyes of Earth are on you. Don't let us down. Thank you for your time, Commander Shepard. I think I handled that well. You did. Exceptionally well. Had you picked that you... time to shut you up option, you would have decked her. You punched you her in the punched face. Her, which is I punched I punched her in the face. Oh my god. If you want to go back in and fact, do that, you I do have a save. The, nah, I did all that. of the Paragon options and then punched her in the face. <laughs> <laughs> because I was like, you are such a bitch. And I just leveled her. I was she like, was, fuck it. She's 
that's pretty reporter-esque, though, to be fair. Like, that was pretty reasonable. I had a different interaction with her. She had a very you specific agenda in mind with her questions. She sure did. In courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. A devoted wife and talented chef, serviceman Bhatia joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education Plan. After finishing her service, Bhatia planned to open a restaurant. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more profiles in Courage, or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance Military on the Extranet. Keyword, Courage. You got her body back for her husband. Oh, that's right. I was, yeah. I was, like, I was Dude, this game like, is so good! That name I is familiar to me. But yep, that was the commander. Or the, the soldier. The lady, yeah. Alright. The fuck so this? the presid the presidium is where you needed to meet that one person. Yeah, the guy who just the the person who the beacon thing was. Using uh, Citadel no, that, Tower. He, he's gonna yeah. be in the Citadel Tower. He's the one that was to the left of the council. Yeah. So How you was... have two different side quests. Hey, it's your buddy. Hey, buddy. Let all races herald the glory of the Enkindlers who raised them all to enlightenment. You're so gentle in your voice. Where there was only darkness, the Enkindlers gave light. Where there was only ignorance, the Enkindlers gave wisdom. I've heard that fucking speech so many fucking times. Please do not disturb the keepers. Da -da 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 Please keep away from the keepers. Touch them, I'm gonna touch them, I'm gonna poke them. You think kids in like the Citadel? Garris, oh. Knowing that the person behind all this death and destruction is a Turian specter. Saren is either a traitor or a madman. Taking him down will restore the good name of Turians everywhere. Glad to hear it. I was losing sleep over the prospect of people <laughs> not loving the Turians. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Rex. I fucking love you, Rex. Rex is so great. It's so good. The sass on that boy. Yep. <laughs> now you, now you know where Brian got it from. Do, 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 do. Oh, was it this guy? Nope. No. Nope. But you could talk to him. Uh, no, Monty no. already spoke to him about his brother. Oh right. It's that guy. Was this the guy who? Oh yeah, it was this guy. Kohoku. No, I'm waiting to speak. Commander Shepard, isn't it? My name is Admiral Kohoku. Is there something I can do for you? You sent a recon team out into the Artemis Tau cluster? Yes, that's right. They went missing a few days ago. I've been trying to find out what happened to them, but I keep getting the runaround from Alliance Brass. Do you know something about this, Commander? They were killed by a Thresher Moth. A uh, Thresher Moth? That's nothing. My men wouldn't just stumble into a Thresher Nest. Not the entire unit. So yeah, who would stumble into a thresher nest? Shut Placed it perfectly so they'd land right beside the thresher nest. Damn it. I had a bad feeling about this ever since my team disappeared. An alliance beacon used as bait, my unit wiped out, and nobody seems to know anything about it. Commander, I appreciate what you did. Now I need to do my part. The families of those Marines deserve to know why they died. I want to help. But I also feel like it's better if he does it, because he knew them better. Well, he's saying he wants to find out why they died. Ah. Because the family of those Marines deserve to know why. Not right now, Shepard, but I'll let you know as soon as I find okay. something out. Okay, sweet. Uh... That is sadly probably all you'll have time for at the moment. Yeah. This is a good place to stop, though. We got quite a bit done. Mm-hmm. Got a new party member. Got some sassy lines from Rex. Fought a worm. A good job with the report. P shot some people. Didn't punch a reporter. Sorry, chat. There, I think some people disappointed that I didn't immediately deck the reporter. Got jump-scared by a thresher maw. Ugh. Goodness gracious. Yeah, no one would just wander into a thresher maw nest. That's wild. That's super wild. Who would do that? 
gosh. Well, that was today's episode. I just want to double check something really fast before we leave. Certainly. Because it is, it's next week is the 26th, which is Boxing Day. Um, yeah. I'm probably going to be taking that day off because it's like literally the day after Christmas and I might not even be mm -hmm. at my apartment. So uh, this will be probably the last Mass Effect stream of the year. Uh, we'll, if you guys are okay with it, we're going to reconvene on the 2nd. Of I can't that. believe you're making your chat wait a whole year for Mass Effect. I know, <laughs> chat. You, you have another... I'm sorry, chat. You're going to have to deal with three episodes for for the whole year. Sorry. But, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next year for more Mass Effect. Uh, and I'm excited to get back into it. I, I want to go to one of the planets, I think, next time, like Pharos or Nevada or whatever the other one was called. <laughs> <forgot>. Nevada! <laughs> ne First of all, <laughs> don't ever call it that. My bad. Well, you know, I can't remember. What Wait, it's is called. it Nevada or Nevada? I don't know. It's Nevada, and don't pronounce it the other way. They will get very upset. Oh, I've only end? ever pronounced it the other way, and I will not stop. <laughs> it is. It is Nevada. We're in it's space. Not Nevada. It's the space it's like version. Arkansas. <laughs> Arkansas is not. That's actually Arkansas. illegal. Do not go to Arkansas and say yeah, Arkansas. Yeah, don't go to Arkansas and say that. They'll throw you in jail. Jesus. Wait, is it actually? It's legitimately yes. illegal. They legitimately what? got so sick of it, and they're so crazy in Arkansas that they made that illegal. That's wild. That's that's so wild. Boy, oh boy. Well, yeah, we're going to end it here. We got a lot done. I was a brave soldier of the Alliance. Didn't get scared at all at any point, at any point, or died. Strange laws in Alaska here or in uh, Arkansas. Wow. Uh, law provides that school teachers who bob their hair will not get a raise. What? Alligators may not be alligators may not be kept in bathtubs. Arkansas must be pronounced Arkansas. In Arkansas, it is illegal to buy or sell blue light bulbs. Oh. Yep. Arkansas, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. America's weird. All right. Speaking of weird people, where are we sending the chat? <laughs> Well, Again, a... I don't know if all of those laws are still in effect, but at one time, those are laws. There is a Hey Mr. Rabbit on, as well as a Theropod art. Theropod is on. Let's write Theropod. He's got 17 viewers. Pointly, he's playing Hades. Hades! Uh, what, sh what should our raid message be? Worm. Worm? Worm. All right. Worm! Go! Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, worm. See you guys next year. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.